This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. We now continue with the D True Water Deep story of Acquisitions Incorporated. From Slaughterfast to the Dark Magic Mansion, the party had been through a lot of adventures and more than a few interns. And as our first hire, I mean, we're really excited to finally bring somebody into the fold. He's not our first. He's not our first. Oh. Upon emerging from Halaster's devious maze, Omen Dran, Jim Dark Magic, Benwin Bronzebottom, and intern Viari discovered the Mad Mage's Ark was a huge enchanted statue built to be piloted by four adventurers. I'm no stranger to enchanted statues, but this is the first one I've really wanted to be inside. Uh, okay, the second. The party defeated Halaster's consciousness, took control of the moving statue, and protected Waterdeep from a terrifying foe. Here's the climactic battle from the finale of Season 7. Huh? What's that rising up from the City of the Dead? It's hundreds of tombs! Look there beneath the tombs. It's a Tarrasque. They haven't been seen for decades. How can this be? Whoa. I'm frightened. Who will protect us from the beast? Oh, here they are. Acquisitors! Forma! Right leg! Staff arm! Send the right robot to Washi! was their highest rated ever, but that success came at a cost. Oh man, Omen was made a Lord of Waterdeep. We were all being celebrated by the city as heroes. There was some uh, <laughs> lady stuff. I don't kiss and tell, but man, man, whoo. Anyway, I guess it all kind of went to Viari's head. The bard started turning to different kinds of music before developing a crippling addiction to drinking songs. He was in a bad way. He wasn't even able to finish the scenes for the finale. We covered it the best we could. That was a hell of an adventure. What did you think of your first time out, Viari? You're just gonna nod after all that? Oh, you're trying to communicate. You're telling us you have to leave. Why don't you sing us one of your wonderful songs? Use that golden voice. You're not even gonna say goodbye with your real human mouth. I, 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 there it goes, I guess. I, but despite the struggles, the demand for Acquisitions Incorporated continues to grow. From Kalimport to Selgant to Menzo Baranzan. Menzo Baranzan. Even to the far flung nightmare plain of Boston, Massachusetts. And their adventure continues today. Thanks for watching The D. Stay tuned for an all new season of Acquisitions Incorporated coming up next. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated Season 8. I'm your humble dungeon master, Chris Perkins, and I would like to introduce to you our players today, starting with Jim Dark Magic, played by Mike Krahulik. Binwin Bronzebottom, played by Scott Kurtz. Omenifus Hereward Drawn, played by Jerry Holkins. And introducing the newest Acquisitions Incorporated intern, Morgan, played by Morgan Webb. All right, you guys ready to do this old school? Yeah, absolutely. Roll some dice. I, I got a clipboard. I'm ready. <laughs> Excellent. I want to emphasize something real quick. Uh, a soldier uh, back from Afghanistan, uh, while he was on base, 
carved his own set of dice from lapis lazuli. Uh, and he asked me if I could play with these dice in today's game, and you say yes to a question like that. So. <laughs> Is it, oh, is it really lazuli? It's lazuli. It's hmm. lazuli. It's lazuli. <laughs> Lapis lazuli. No, and uh, what's this? What's this is very modern. This is not a DM screen. I guess wow. it's. A, I guess you're the DM and it's a screen. Okay, it's a DM screen. I guess either way. This is going to go really well for you. I can tell well, already. Yeah. <laughs> In Hold fact, on, I'm going to hack this DM screen. <laughs> I'm going to use my iPhone to hack his cyber zones. <laughs> so actually, uh, Jerry, we're going to start with your character. I can't. OK. All right. right. I should have gemstone dice. If I'm a lord of Waterdeep, I should have gemstone dice. Yes. And full plate. And that's canonical, right? He's actually like Omen is a lord of Waterdeep. He is one of the masked lords of Waterdeep. That's right. so awesome. That is yes. Like Am I like a sub lord or? <laughs> Lord, assistant to the Lord. <laughs> no, he doesn't even let you in the council chamber. <laughs> wow. But in the tavern, you use that. Oh, absolutely. Like, I know a Lord of Waterdeep. Yes. Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, yes. a master. Hey, Lord. chicks love that. What can I say? <laughs> yes. You up, do. Uh, it draws them in. <laughs> but you do carry the mighty title of Wizard Extraordinaire. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Nice. Wow. That's and Benwin good. carries the title of Dwarf of Enormous Importance. Yes. <laughs> I do have the rustic hospitality back. That's right. So, Omen, you are actually in the council chamber, uh, sitting in a comfortable chair, surrounded by your three retainers. It's like the, the medieval equivalent of an Aeron chair. Yep, you okay. got it. And there are a number of other chairs in the hall, both on the main floor and on the mezzanine. And these are the seats of the masked lords. And you are totally decked out in black. You got a black mask on. Nobody knows who you are except the three retainers oh, next to you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you very Whoa, much. Whoa, Jeff. Easy, Sorry. son. <laughs> Enormous importance here. <laughs> <laughs> now, normally during a council meeting, there might be three or four masked lords present. And you're not even sure how many of them there are, but there are lots of chairs. Right. On this particular occasion, there are 17. And they're all dressed like you, all anonymous, and they have a few loyal retainers. By the way, you're going to have to come up with names for your three retainers. Oh, yeah. You can like think he about, hasn't already done that. You can think about that while I'm expositing. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. <laughs> what? Did you just generate those on the fly? I, I'm, a, I'm a recovering Christian. <laughs> Or he just has a random name generator in his head. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right. One on of me. the mass lords comes out onto the floor and demands reparations for damage <laughs> done to several ancestral tombs. <laughs> oh, no. In the city of the dead, in the wake of the Tarask attack. Yeah, what happened to those? Uh, things, things mm. tombs. Mm. Um, we live in a world of mysteries. That's right. <laughs> It's like, I mean, seriously, no one in the tombs, you're coming at this, and no one in the tombs gives a shit. None of the residents complain? The, exactly. That? The, we receive no complaints on our undead hotline that we set up after the incident. Um, so. Are you vocalizing these thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> that's, never, that's never a good question. This is a new, GM, did you say that out loud? This is a new, this is a new omen drawn, head to toe, black plate, two-handed maul. This is, this is a new era for Acquisitions Incorporated. Wow. Whoa. This is like hot topic omen drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Eyeliner. Yeah. <laughs> This anonymous lord demands that a vote be taken to raise uh, port taxes and gate fees as recompense for the families whose tombs were desecrated. Uh, he gets sh shouted down yeah. pretty much immediately. Uh, another mass lord comes out onto the floor, and although he's clearly a man, or appears to have the build of a man, he speaks like a woman. Mm -hmm. That's because each of the mass lords carries a staff with them, as you do, which can alter your voice. Oh, I see. It's, it's the... Um 
It's the encrypt. It's like a magical encryption. Exactly. Okay. So we kind of totally do really auto tune. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, I I, I activate the T the T pain settings <laughs> on on the, my rod. Do you believe in love? love? <laughs> And this mass lord proposes that a commission of wizards be formed to propose a plan for the careful dismantling of the Hallister statue. No! <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, so the, the entire idea of a masked conclave is to route platinum to people that you know, right? I tell them that I know a really powerful wizard. Like, the mo like he's super powerful. In addition to Jim? <laughs> You haven't told him about this, have yeah, you? He's going to exactly. be jealous. If you were to ask him, you he would... You start that way? <laughs> Does anyone have a cure wounds for that sick burn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, say, I say that I would be happy to take that project on and to create a, a conclave or whatever. A vote is taken and you are voted down. Oh, well, I gave him my best shot. <laughs> <laughs> but as to the vote about the commissioning of wizards to dismantle the statue, you are entitled to a vote. How do you vote? Yay or nay? To dismantle the statue? Yes. I think I'm going to be probably first in line to get any of that magical goods, so I'm, I'm saying that that's probably okay. All right. It passes unanimously. It's, it's recycling, basically. Yeah. It's good for the earth. Exactly. You're very noble. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, when you got rid of the Tarrasque, you just employed you know, 45 butchers in the city, and they just <laughs> chopped it right. up and... Novel sausages. People were good for a year. <clears throat> I'll probably never have another giant robot, but whatever. <laughs> the doors to the hall are thrown open, and two figures stride in. Uh, one is a, another masked lord in the company of a beautiful elven woman, dressed in noble regalia, and she seems to be standing a couple, or moving a couple paces behind the masked lord, who informs the council that Arthagast Ulbrinter is dead. What? Yeah. I, I, I fall out of my chair. Yeah. <laughs> Our glass. No. But I just saw him. Yeah. He was so full of life. <laughs> Not only that, but his villa was sacked by masked heathens in the night. That's the way he wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> we, we actually had that conversation. Yeah. And they had black masks and capes. Well, that wasn't part of it. That was different. And this masked lord presents before the council the elven woman as Romalia Haventree, Lord Ulbrinter's widow. Uh-oh. Mm. Does she look sad? She looks angry. Okay. Okay, uh, I was like sad, but like sad enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, you gotta ask these things. You, this is super How sad important. is she? I mean, is she sad that the stuff is gone, or is she sad that the is gone? These exactly. are questions. It's like a Law uh, and Order episode now. Exactly. <laughs> she totally did it. <laughs> That's how these things go. Right. And she, can, she announces to the entire council that her husband was one of the masked lords of Waterdeep. I don't buy it. Yeah. Says who? We and need that's... CSI Waterdeep. On the <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she, she... Which would actually be totally rad. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be super cool? I would watch that show. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Anybody out there, a network <laughs> yeah. person? Yeah, Anybody? really? Can you make that happen? Yeah, you can come up here afterward. <laughs> Uh, and she basically makes a plea to, for the council to act swiftly to catch these masked heathens before they escape the city. In addition, she has another request, that she be granted permission to conduct her own investigation into her husband's death, thereby saving the council time and money. Denied! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Wow, that's <laughs> harsh. When we don't go to that's meetings. harsh. <laughs> exactly. Because of the lies. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I am. I stand, and um, I, I go on one knee and I take her hand. But in my hand is a card for Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> it's smooth. So Very smooth. smooth, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then um, uh, <laughs> I tell her that that's super bad, and I'm sorry about all that. And then I go back to my chair. All right, she tucks the card into her bosom. Nice. <laughs> uh, and a vote is put forth. Do you favor yay or nay for her personal investigation into this matter? I say yay like in a super high voice, and then I say it in another low voice. Okay. <laughs> the council never wanted to spend money. Uh, vote unanimously for her to act on her own. Seems like a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, listen, trust me, I'm, I'm on this. 
And finally, a mass lord, the last item on the agenda, another mass lord, uh, clearly a woman but speaks in a man's voice, puts forth a vote to denounce Lord Dagalt Never Ember of Waterdeep, the open lord of the city, for his negligence and to unseat him as the unmasked lord and install someone new as the open lord of Waterdeep. <laughs> and you sort of turn to your retainers like, who? Yeah, is this that a person? Is that a real yeah. guy? I ask Meshach, I'm like, is that a real guy? Yeah, says, he, he did nothing but just build new bicycle paths all through Waterdeep. <laughs> <laughs> That's like his agenda. And he whispers to you and he says, yes, sir, Lord Dagalt, Never Ember. He's not only the Lord of Waterdeep, but also the Lord of Neverwinter. And he's been spending all of his months up there rebuilding that city. Hmm. Hmm. He rarely Resident? comes to Waterdeep anymore. Okay. All right. He does have a son who lives in the city, however. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> he's just taking this seriously. <laughs> exactly. And so a vote is cast among the 17 present, and you suspect this is why the attendance was so yes, high on exactly. this occasion, uh, as to whether or not the council should put forth a motion to have Lord Dagalt Never Ember dismissed, drummed out, sent back to Neverwinter with his suitcases. Yeah, my, my, my feeling is if he's, if he's not around, if he's not able to improve, uh, the lives of the people of Waterdeep has to go. So. All right, a unanimous vote carries. And you see there are two banners that sort of fly in the high ceiling of the council hall, one with the city of Waterdeep and one with the Never Ember crest, and that one is cut down. <laughs> like, like this? Yes. Wow. And just falls, to the, falls to the floor in a heap. This is some hardcore democracy, people. Yeah. <coughs> this and is like uh, the beginning of Phantom Menace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, got me for another, you got me for another five minutes, <laughs> and then, then I'm going to start looking for a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> you're leaving the council hall. All the business has been taken care of. And as you do, one of the mass lords sort of comes out of an alcove and just stands in front <laughs> of you and says, you know. <laughs> You know, the whole purpose of the masks is so we can't know who you are. This is my play. I'm choosing, si I'm choosing, choosing silence. silence. It's just like in Walking Dead. You'll find you live longer when people don't know who you are. Perhaps you should follow Lord Albrinter's example. And then she leaves. Okay, listen. So anyway, we, we need to start arming and armoring Meshach, Shadrach, and Wendigo. <laughs> I'm sorry, the third one is Wendigo? No, 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 no. To the nines. Okay. That's like the, we stop at the armor weapons shop on the way back. All right. Well, you head out, and you go looking for your buds, Jim and Binwin. And when yep. you find them, they're out in the market, and they're watching a puppet show put on by two halflings. Because why wouldn't we be? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't, I don't judge, you know. And both of the halflings sound like Chris Straub. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and these two halflings with their puppets seem to be chronicling the fall of the Tarrasque. <laughs> Is oh, it nice. accurate? I, I take careful notes. I want to make sure that specifically my involvement um, is, is rendered um, with historical accuracy. Well, um, your puppet just looks like a sock with no hair. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Nailed it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. All right. I see that the gauntlet holding has a, been thrown. Holding a cucumber. You don't yeah, know yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's theater of the mind. Yeah. Uh, but you see Omen and his uh, retainers approaching. Okay. And you've actually got a retainer too, don't you? Yeah, I have the bar Giacomo. He's always following me around writing awesome songs about what I do. Watching King the of Gestures, show? Gestures King. Yeah. It's a good song. <laughs> well, yeah. He's probably critiquing the puppet show. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I liked this better when it was called another puppet show. This is like that. <laughs> when it's called Season 7. Season yeah. 7. <laughs> yeah. From 100 years ago. All right. But the market square is crowded, crowded, crowded. There are lots of people around the theater, and there are lots of people just milling around behind you. And Jim, every minute of every day, you're fearing somebody's going to come by and hawk those wands of yours out of their sheaths, and you're never going to see them again. So you're like, just doing what? I'm afraid someone's going to steal my wands. Out here in the street, 
bad shit happens. Uh, I, I move my wand from my back pocket to my front pocket. <laughs> That's nice. the trick. That's what they say to do. That's yeah. the trick. Yeah. Yes. Okay. As you do that, an arrow lances mm -hmm. forth and sticks in Binwin's helmet. Thunk. Do I notice it? <laughs> <laughs> How good is this puppet show? Yeah. I would like you to make a perception check, a wisdom perception check, to see if you notice an arrow sticking in your helmet. Um, oh, that's yeah. a 19. Yes. You feel something thunk against the back of your head. I look at Jim and I go, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> but Jim, you look around and like, you, could, you could see where the arrow must have come through, but there's just like people crisscrossing back and forth. You can't imagine anybody could have shot that arrow through, through that crowd that. and not hit something before it binged Binwin in the back of the is head. Is it an arrow? I mean, does it is you, clearly an arrow. I, I walk up and just give it a little twing, right? Yep. It's, it's not illusory. No. Okay. okay. I know from illusory. Yes. Okay. Yes. By the way, all of this is happening under the shadow of the great statue, which is still standing in the middle of Waterdeep, yeah. surrounded by homes that nobody wants to see trampled and destroyed. Right. Would okay. you like to, would you, but it actually, because of the shadow, it makes it kind of hard to see. Would you like to make a wisdom perception check to see if you can trace the arrow back to its origin? Uh, yeah, I'll do my best here. It's not great. Uh, <laughs> I'm about, I'm as perceptive as it gets. Five. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, per perception's a wisdom go, skill. Sure, go so ahead. This is, this is totally in my line. We're talking about a 20. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You can see. Two I do the I do the thing where it's like I superimpose geometry. like the lines yeah. and the geometry <laughs> shit, like some Sherlock Holmes type Doing shit. Doing some Dexter shit. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. In an alley, you see two figures. One is a female, uh, slender of build, with dark hair, dressed in what appears to be uh, leather armor. The other is a halfling, who's. Uh, sort of got a skunk of gray or silver gray through, uh, striped through his hair. All right. I run for the alley. And she has got yeah. a bow. Okay. I, I can handle it. Um, I run for the alley. I say, Jim. And then as I'm going, I slap the back of Binwin's helmet uh, sort of in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Never right. a please with this guy. Are yeah. we worrying about the two arrows is pay attention. One arrow, we're going to worry. Okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> Woo -woo. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, you are you going to try to cut through the crowd then? I am. Okay. Uh, Morgane, you seem to have gotten their attention. Mm -hmm. If uh, I had wanted to kill, I would have killed. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. <That's>, wow. <laughs> Already building the brand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys are able to cut through the crowd. Um, I'd like you all to make one more wisdom perception check, and you can too as well, Morgan. Oh my god. Let Whoa, me know if you roll like Jerry. <laughs> wow, exact opposite. Critted. We got a, a tw natural 20 and a 1. <laughs> so that, on that, that basically cancels out that side of the table. <laughs> I, I have a 16. Okay. I have uh, a 19. We both went into each other. I, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, ah, this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> we, like to have, we like to have fun. <laughs> so you're uh, rocking the 19? Yeah. Yep. All right, uh, nothing happens. <laughs> cool. I know it was fun Good for times, the game, guys. but I critted my perception. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. You gotta give me, you gotta give me something. You see, gotcha. a, you see a flower, and it's I so beautiful. I have bangs. Beautiful. You see that I have bangs. That wasn't mentioned earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot trust a girl in bangs. <laughs> Is that dwarven saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On the chin, bangs are okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, you see that the... Um... That is not what I meant. <laughs> I meant that female dwarves have beards, not my bangs on her chin. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I heard you giggling about. You know who you are. This what is a family show. What do they think you meant? 
We'll explain it to you later. Chins on the bang are fine. Bangs on the chin are fine. And they thought they meant my bangs on her chin. We'll draw him some pictures no, wait. later. Well, no, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any we, sense. We that's, need, like, that's like this. <laughs> right. We need a, We would need visual aids to, to do this. All right. I have more sex. arrows, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this seems like a good time to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is very upset. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. Yeah. I know it has something to do with bangs. Okay, I've lost control. Sorry, yeah. giving it a peer pressure. Yeah. Uh, no, you see what appears to be a figure on a rooftop, almost gargoyle-ish, just sort of watching over the market gargoyle square. Gargoyle-ish? In terms of posture and the way they're sort of perched okay, on the edge of go. an eve. I was like, I, tend, I generally and think of gargoyle as being an either or proposition. And <laughs> when you guys sort of cut through the crowd at a breakneck pace, this figure, you get the sense that it was paying attention to you. And Do that I, it sort of withdraws. Oh, shit. I, I got over. my rig, right? I'm in my shit. Yeah, you got your jetpack, okay. all that shit. Well, <laughs> all right. Jetpack? It's the wrong genre, but I don't yeah. want to tell you your business. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, but so they ducked away. Yeah. All right. Uh, but do, so do I know that she shot at me? Yeah, cl clearly she's the one carrying the bow. Yeah. yeah. All right. I just got and a quiver of arrows so. that yeah. look just like the arrow that's now stuck in your... Can I get that back, helmet. actually? <laughs> <laughs> I chuck a javelin at her. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just said one arrow is getting someone's attention. <laughs> Two arrows you have to worry about. So well, he pulls out his javelin. Whoa, 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 then, whoa. He uh, holds it back, and I just hold the back of it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, she, she's the uh, new intern that you brought from Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah, she just got here. Oh, yeah. you, rec you recognize her? Yeah. yeah. Do we know about this? Nope. I, I, Does he I, tell you surprise. anything? You, you, you A did, new hire? You did not show up to the meeting. You were supposed to take oh, the minutes, true. and you were supposed to bring Chris Hall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We just ate all the croissants. Yeah. We did. And took minutes of something else. Yeah. So when he reaches his, through his hand forward, yeah. there is no javelin with it. All right. And I'm like, whoa. I say, Can't even see where it went. Can't even see where it went. That's incredible. I lost it in the sun. I say, Morgan, is this a is this a Baldur's Gate greeting? Is this a is this customary? I don't really like crowds, so I figured I'd just like social anxiety. I get it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I get it. I, I have an herbal remedy, that obviously, that I use. Um, <laughs> that, I was actually thinking of St. John's wort. St. <laughs> St. John's wort. Okay. They just passed the law. It's legal in the deep now. <laughs> it's, legal, it's, it's legal in water deep? Yeah. It's legal in water deep. Well, it's legal to buy it. <laughs> but, yeah. It's not legal to Don't sell it. Don't get cut on the streets with no. it. No. <laughs> And he, uh, the halfling standing next to Morgane says, uh, perhaps I should introduce myself. If you want. Is he from Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he says, uh, my name is Vandal. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're starting off great. What do you mean? Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah, see. My name. Right. It's one of those double entendre things. I think it's a single entendre. <laughs> 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 if you say so. <laughs> So uh, why are you still in your master costume? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pull it off, but it's like I try to do it so that it's like totally cool, like totally smooth, but then it gets caught on my ear, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> hey, right. hey, and then I kind of like go up against the wall, sort of like. And then I'm like, holy shit, Omen's here. <laughs> <laughs> It's cool. I kind of, it's got a cool pose, like an album cover pose, like where like the one boot is like up on the wall, and the other one is like I'm just kind of like, like, hey, what's up? What's going on? Huh. Oh, that's very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. It's always every adventure. There's some asshole halfling. Yeah, we got to deal with. He says, I assure you, I have nothing but the highest respect for you, Benwin. You are a god. <laughs> every adventure, there's an awesome halfling. <laughs> <laughs> He says, anyway, uh, I, got, uh, I got some, well, let's just say Morgan and I are here because we got a real problem. Any, you know, uh, you heard of old Scarandra? Nah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to new Scarandra <laughs> once. I knew a Monsignor Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra, he says. And, uh, well, she was a bronze dragon, see? 
And now, oh. go, now here's some, some more exposition for you. <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> he says, but first, before I forget, you better give him the note. And uh, you've got this scroll that you brought with you from Baldur's Gate. I think it's in my hotel room. And written on it, <laughs> written on it is this. Oh. For your eyes only. What a magical scroll. <laughs> Thank you yes. again. It's written in magical script. My dear Lord Drawn, I pray this letter finds you in good spirits. It's called Comic Sans. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased to announce that the Baldur's Gate chapter of Acquisitions Incorporated has opened its doors and awaits your inspection. What? Yes. Franchising? What percentage of that franchise do you get? You can get into the ground floor. <laughs> it's the crypt beneath it. We'll see how this mission goes. However, I must report that Lord Older Ravenguard of Baldur's Gate has not shown us much kindness and has our chapter house surrounded by guards night and day. Uh-oh. <laughs> It seems Lord Ravenguard takes offense to our presence, yet I know not why. <laughs> he has declined to speak to any member of our faction. I'm told he will have words with you and you alone. I bid you join us in Baldur's Gate and look forward to news of your arrival. Your humble servant, Jeff. <laughs> well, listen, that's... That's the risk these franchisees take when they, they open up. They signed those rights right. away. It was on the form. Exactly. They paid, they, they paid their gold. Yeah. They, got their, they got an opportunity to use the logo for a period of six months. Right. Um, Very generous, if you ask oh, me. Oh, yes, exactly right. I mean, this is if, how I if feel. If your Subway franchise gets surrounded, you know. By Lord Raven Guards. Right. Uh, it's not the corporate Subway's problem. No, it's, no, no. The no, guy no. from the commercials doesn't come down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He doesn't come well, down. Like he Jared, doesn't come down. Jared, Jared doesn't show up. He doesn't come down with his big pants. Oh, his pants out. No. <laughs> yeah. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a thing. But on the other hand, the idea that other people would do all the adventuring and I could stay at home seems like a good reason to try to fix the franchise problem. It's a young man's game. Yeah, exactly. And we're right? level seven now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Getting um, up there. Yeah. Says, I couldn't agree more. Anyway, this uh, dragon, this bronze dragon, she got killed by two mated green dragons named Tynazek and Thrillian. Okay. They took her dragon eggs. They took her dragon what now? Her eggs. Her dragon eggs. Eggs. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, because they're not euphemistic. I mean, these are literal eggs. All right. All right, they're eggs. They're yeah. only born with so many, and then past a certain age. I don't. I'm what? not sure it works that way. Is that true? With dragons, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna have an, if you're gonna lay an egg past 35 as a dragon. Yeah, past 3,500. You gotta take special precautions. Yeah. 3,500. <laughs> sorry. Right. So my worst fear, Tynazek and Thrillian are gonna raise these dragons to be evil. Yeah. We can't have that. Why that can't would... they have their own dragons? I don't know. Maybe Tarnasek can't get it up. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So it, it, I did ask. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> Got my bad. You knew what was going to you, you put it up. And I, it came uh, down. Yeah. Um, yeah so. I, now, have you ever fought a dragon before? Let alone two? Uh, yeah. I have, a, sure. I, have an, <laughs> I have an informative pamphlet on dragons, um, which is basically... Life or death combat. All right, all right, all right. Have you ever met a dragon before? It's possible. I have many times met multiple dragons. I met a dead dragon, right? That one time? It was a skeleton of a dragon. Yeah. I saw a girl who had a dragon tattoo. Oh, it was I saw that was a great movie. I yes, saw that movie. I did see that movie. Puppet show. No. <laughs> and then... Uh, Daniel Craig puppet and then yeah. no. Skarsgård puppet. Now, on your resume, you yes. mentioned dragon experience. Oh, did I? Did I also write down PowerPoint? <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard. I, I, it was on there, but I did not know what it meant. <laughs> um, I thought uh, it was a spell. Yeah, exactly. I was like, that sounds good. Yeah. Yes, PowerPoint. I like it. How much damage? <laughs> I need to learn that one. Yeah, exactly. So. I happen to know that Tana, Zek, and Thrillian have taken up Lair in a ruined castle, and it happens to be on the way to Baldur's Gate, which is why I'm here. Because I figure if you're going to go there anyway, what the hell, might as well fight a couple dragons. Just fight a couple dragons. Yeah. Why, so why do you says care? Says who's not going to do any of the fighting. Why do you care if oh, this dragon is side. raised evil? Because you don't want four bronze dragons being raised as evil dragons. That's only going to be a problem. <laughs> I mean, don't you want them raised right? Really? 
I mean, in a loving home. I don't judge. Good education. Exactly. Good I mean, schools. Good schools and good a good schools. neighborhood. Bronze dragons are very friendly and they love to make war on people. I don't know how that drives, but anyway. <laughs> I think wrote about it, it, but I don't know. They think about it. Worse. Here. Do they have you got any this? gold in their tummies? What's that? Do they have any like, gold in their stomachs or anything like that? Are they going to drop Gold in their stomachs. I'd like to say no. They're going to drop a loot if we kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I care about them. They seem but don't nice. you want to be like a godfather to dragons? Yeah, kind of. Sure. Yeah, kind of. Sure. Yeah, on that Raise them up great. right. I like the sound of that, actually. Think how good that would look on the logo. If we had right. our own dragons. A couple dragons? I don't think we yeah. get to keep them. Well, sure you do. We got to raise them. We could give them good schools. We can oh, make sure that they got four tutoring, eggs? math. Yes, sir. Four, four, four of eggs. us. Four us. It's a big responsibility. Well, that's just a and neutered. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Somebody's got to clean up after Got to microchip them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like $18 right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 18 bucks? 18 gold pieces. 18 bucks. Okay, I like... Yeah, okay. You could acquire four dragons. Now, that's that's on brand. That is on brand. Let's do it. Acquisition is strongly on brand. Double, double dragons. (laughs) Double, double dragons. You need a really big stable. I have every confidence that in your care, they will be raised right. (laughs) Yeah. I think he's right. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> so he knows, he, knows the, uh, he knows the way to go, the specific castle. Yeah, you got somebody who's an expert in horde management. You got somebody who knows all about spell casting and wizardry. Yeah. And I'm dragons. immune to fire. Oh, yeah. This is even better. It's like, a, well, not immune, but... I've taken a yeah. hit or two. Charred. Fire. I've been charred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm talking about operating a school for dragons. This is some hot S. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. This is, this is happening. We, we, we get the cart. Oh, we get way. the cart. We get the cart. <laughs> get the cart. I tell Meshach to get the cart. He says, well, I got a gift for you. <gasps> Is it a cart? No. <laughs> it's called a portable hole. I actually have one of those already. <laughs> <laughs> so he can keep it? or I yeah. can tell you the shop ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says, well, I'm going to give it to you. I don't need that. <laughs> he says... It looks like a small black felt cube. Right. This and isn't can, what I thought it was. You can, <laughs> and you can unfold it into a 10 foot by 10 foot hole that creates an extra dimensional space in any surface that the hole is set on. And it's big enough that you could put like a dragon egg or four in there. Yeah. Keep, did you keep them fresh? So right now it's just a little cube though? Yeah. All right. And you give it to me? If you want. Yeah. Hang I, on I'll it. take it. Absolutely. All it's right. like uh, Mary Poppins' bag. I, I, uh, yeah, I um, take it's it. got umbrellas and shit. Yeah. All right. He says, now, the only problem is the ruined castle, it's a bit of a hike. It's like two, ten days away. <laughs> yeah, cart. Can't we take the cart? Exactly. The cart <laughs> is happening. Hold, hold on. Uh, how many days away? Two, two ten. ten days. Two, ten days. Oh, I thought you said two to ten days. <laughs> and it's like, well, which? It's one of the two. Right. Two, <laughs> ten days. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's serious business, but we, we're, we're on our way to Baldur's Gate anyhow. Yeah. And it's the middle of winter. You're going to freeze your asses off. Yeah, yeah. Carts are happening. Two, two, All so right. two ten days. So you Because you know, day. you could probably take that. And then another what? ten day. I look, I look up. Days? Hey. It's okay. Two, it's two ten days. Daddy's right. working. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> I, I look up. What are we looking at? The Hallister statue. Oh. What happened? the statue's robots above us. Oh! Did, did our parents leave the keys to the brand new statue? <laughs> Would they mind? Nah, of course no. not. Right. You gotta get rid of it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, now, Morgan, on your yes. resume, mm-hmm. you said experience with giant robot statues. <laughs> Now, was, was that like the did, dragon experience, oh, or was that an authentic <laughs> representation of talent? Um, I could probably figure out how to work it. Yeah, there's, there's a manual in there. I yeah, mean, it's, it's a couple pages. It's got some pictures. It's in Japanese. Through, skim it. <laughs> but I the diagrams are super solid. Japanese. Perfect. All right. All right. It's like an Ikea manual. I'm on it. So we, so we, we have experience this thing. We, know how, to, we know how to get in yeah. fast, right? That's Kozakuren, by the way, not yeah. Japanese. Kozakuren. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. All yeah. right. <laughs> now, now you, looking up, you can see that there are a couple uh, Water Davian wizards basically perched up water near Davians? the... Water Davians? That's awesome. Of, yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're sort of perched up <clears throat> near the, the entrance cavity. Okay. Um, 
you probably don't want to tangle with them, so you'll want to use the back door. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I know your deal, man. Let's, let's... <laughs> Enough said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, which, which we're familiar with, <laughs> with our previous experience. We got a sneak in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> that classic song from our second album. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we, 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 know, we know what's up. I mean, it's, it sounds like there's a lot of um, temporary housing. Is that, is that how mm -hmm. you would say it around the... Some would say temporary. Some would say, you know, hundreds of years old. <laughs> ben would, would say temporary. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. The main, thing, the main thing is that we need to clear the area. We, got, we, we, need, we need to make sure that this place is, that people are running this away from this place. The place will clear out at night. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So we, right. we get like some trail mix and yep. night falls. Uh, other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The statue is now just this sort of dark splot against the dark sky. I climb in its butt. All right. Always the pioneer. Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, we know we 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 know how to we know yep. how to handle this. All right. And when you get up into the cockpit, as you recall, there are four control stations, right. one for each arm and one for each leg. I'm gonna grab my arm again. Yeah, yeah right. I was good. I was good Staff with the leg. Arm. Yeah. Staff arm. Staff arm. Beam arm. We're gonna form the legs. Perfect. Is our is our long-term plan. And then Where's... I'm like I'm like <clears throat> Jarvis, we gotta go. <laughs> Yeah, what, are you going to take your retainers with you? Is there room for them? And the halfling? Yeah, you can pack them in. He seems to have a lot of good Yeah, 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 yeah I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Join you. yeah we, we set them up. I just, did did I, we I, ever figure out your relationship to the halfling? Why is he with you? I don't know. I don't seem to like him very much. <laughs> okay. But, I think they traveled up. They, they, they oh, delivered I mean, the message buddy. from... I met him yeah. before. Yeah, and, yeah they um, both came up from Baldur's Gate. Does he try to come with gate. us? Yeah. I think they, they knew each other in college. It's like... Do we care about that? They're in a dorm together. Um, well, here, I just, I just give them... I, I set up... I set them up in the sort of the open area in between the things, and I just give them an iPad or something. I just kind of occupy right. them. While, while he's sitting there, uh, I'm just going to focus on him for a minute. I'm going to use um, detect uh, thoughts. Okay. I just kind of want to figure out what he's thinking. This statue is so awesome. I can't wait to take it out. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, and, he said, and he's thinking, Jim Duck, that's so awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this guy. Jim, uh. Jim, <laughs> Bobim, Banana, Fana, Fofim, V5, Bobim. Jim! <laughs> he's got a lot going on in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just rocks, he's jangling. He's himself a grand old time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's All just right. let him enjoy himself for now. Bin, win, bin, win, bow, win, 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 Let's light, right. that, let's light that staff up. All right. It's like the, you know, the 55 minute scene in the first Star Trek movie where we get the pan around of the Enterprise <laughs> right. lighting up. Right, they're focusing yeah. in on the gym. Does this thing All have right. like a CB, like intercom type thing? Can I like talk through the mouth of yeah. the store? <laughs> Particularly if there's a, uh, the, uh, um, what do you call it? The cabin in the back where your retainers are. Yeah, exactly. As long as it has auto tune. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, as you sort of staff. look out through the magic window or the magic eyes, you can see that it's so dark in the city tonight that you can't see any of the buildings down below you. Uh, I see a flaw in our plan. Well, my gem lights up though, right? In my mm -hmm. hand? Yes, it fires a beam of concentrated destructive energy too. <laughs> <laughs> Which illuminates the area around it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, it, and yeah, clears yeah. it at the same time. No, like this, man. Yeah, yeah, like a flare, right? Like I just go, bam, straight up into the sky. <laughs> All <Dragon>. right. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure over. Right. All right. Over the skies of Waterdeep, a piercing green beam fires into the night sky. Oh, my gosh. Green flame. What color, what color flame wow. is the beam? <laughs> wow. They remember. Wow. They, yeah, they are loyal subjects. <laughs> Right, so this, right. using this beam, we should be able to step as well as we can through this stuff. All right. Um, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> make, yeah. make another perception check. Those of you who are piloting the legs. Oh. Yep, got it. Last time you had it. I did. Ooh. Six. 25. Apparently right. I did lie on my resume. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you got the, you got the, the, the intern jitters here. Yeah. You're trying to figure things out. No, guys, I got this. I got this. 
Yeah, the, the foot hits a bit of resistance, but you just keep forcing it through. <laughs> <laughs> you just downshift. Sorry, my <laughs> bad. You're not exactly sure what you hit. You can't hear any screaming, so it's perfectly fine. Probably okay. Yeah. Do you want me to light it up, see what's down there? Some okay. <laughs> Hold on, what's... Oh, no! Whoa. Once you get started, right? All right, make one more check. Those orphans didn't have any parents anyway. No. <laughs> wow! What? <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. 13. The 13. You're fine. Okay. You're fine. Two 13s. Yep. It seems like it would be bad. You don't okay. seem to hit anything hard or obstructing, and when you get to what you think might be the outer wall, you step over it with a plum. Oh, so mm, tasteful. A plum? <laughs> yes. All right. Now here, I'm just going to pass around little maps for you. This shows a map nice. of Waterdeep and the coast. Waterdeep is on the coast. The Sword Coast. The Sword Coast. <laughs> and you're going to be following the high road southeast toward Daggerford. Are we going to try and stealth this in the giant robot, or are we just going to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big stealth checks. Creech crouched down. Oh, yeah. Down. <laughs> Will her ranger veil cover the entire it's only, statue? It's only no. 30, it's 30 uh -oh. feet. Uh, Hunter's veil will cover one part of one finger. <laughs> All right. Are you going to march this thing down the trade road? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Well, we're going to strut down the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, like the, we're gonna do the, we'll do the dinosaur. <laughs> all the way down. We'll open do the little, door and get all the dancing arms. Everybody walked the dinosaur. Exactly. Everybody walked the dinosaur. Yeah. Wow. Right. But I mean, no even, even if we were a that. little bit off of the road, I mean, it wouldn't help. Yeah, but are we destroying the only trade road between Waterdeep and Daggerford? That's what you tell me. For, for walking. <laughs> we're using, we're using yeah, it no, in its intended manner. It's, we're pedestrians. We're pedestrians. Right. Have the right of way. We I have would the just right like of way. To okay. This is going to be a huge advantage when the, when the caravans come. We're okay. eco-friendly. Yeah. Walking. That's you know, true. Carbon footprints. Very low. Zero, but our actual physical footprint. footprint. <laughs> very large. Very large. Right. <clears throat> so it's, you know, it's 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 a little bit of a little cough from column A. It's cool. As we're walking down, I'm just going to go bicycle rights. Keep right. Keep right. <laughs> Do we have a little bell? <laughs> ding, ding. On your left. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh. Okay. You're just striding southwest, uh, yeah. or southeast. Uh, yeah, a little, bit, and, uh, a little bit off of the road proper. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Um, you guys don't know this, but there's about 300 yards ahead of you this small campsite. <laughs> was, you mean, there was a small campsite? Yeah, and there are, there are some wagons set up and some people just camping about. Yeah. There's, and there still is a campsite, but now it's one molecule thick. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's, they're just camped about 10 miles outside of town. Uh, and uh, it comes under attack by some brigands who like surround the camp. And all of a sudden, these two big footprints just yes. flatten the brigands into the <laughs> dust. <laughs> the campers don't know what's going on. They just see this gigantic form pass over their head and continue on. Just completely silently. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, man, you're like. Care back with this incorporated pamphlets. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> well, we know what we need. We need a stonemason, perhaps someone from the Bronze Bottom clan, to get the logo on the fucking soul. I can oh, fucking man. do that. Hi. Uh, stone cutting is on my character sheet. Oh, that's happening. As well as proficient in brewing. Well, there we are. So I think we got a night plan. So one foot is the logo, <laughs> the other foot is the address. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the website. The URL, website. yes. You come to your first bridge. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it spans the River Desarin, which is a really, really wide river. And it wiver? Wiver. It's yes. wiver. Are there wivers? It spans it's a wide a wiver. wiver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The wide wiver of Waterdeep. <laughs> and uh, there's, a, there's an old dwarven stone bridge that basically spans the gap. And it's quite long. I feel like the dwarves are pretty good. I feel like we could walk on that. If a dwarf ask, built it. I, I, ask, I ask Binwin. I say, you, judge this bridge. Guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> out the butt, and then I just like do my whole. There's a slide. No, the butt. You, have yeah. a, you have a clipboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, yeah. let's take a look. I set up that triangle tripod yeah. Yeah. fucking thing that the and guys And it's, it's morning now, so you can sort of see what happens. Yeah, you got some black mold in here. <laughs> oh, that's going to be pricey. Yeah. yeah. That is not. See all this? Yeah, that's all asbestos. That's no good. <laughs> that right there, that is going to cost you, man. Yeah. There's some lead paint on that bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't have any kids in the end. So do I need to, I mean... <laughs> do you have uh, any special skills? 
No. Are you cool? I, are you cool at all? Not that Dude, I've seen. I've got a ton. Uh-huh. Uh, but I mean, with stone cutting, I would yeah. assume. Yeah. Yeah. Would help oh me, yeah. Right? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I right, so I'm gonna check out. Do I need to just roll? Just make a perception check, but you gain advantage on your check. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. You roll Thank two you, d20 sir. and take the best advantage. one. Advantage. Advantage. All right. Well, I will take the 18 then. Yeah. Splendid. Good call. <laughs> this is a sturdy, sturdy bridge. You are fairly confident that despite the immense weight of Hallister's statue. This dwarven bridge will never fail. Ooh, fairly right. confident. Yeah. Fairly so, confident. <laughs> I'm like, dwarves made it, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> An elven, elven bridge? We'd flatten that shit. Yeah. <laughs> These Sticks. were made by my people. Mm, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> All right, then we're good. All right. Let's swing it over. All right. Those of you who are doing the legs, just make a, oh, let's call it a dexterity or acrobatics check. What a what? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. What, why? Uh, acrobatics? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you might be I don't bold. have acrobatics. Yeah, but your dexterity but I, is fly is, at least, right? It's pretty fly. Yeah. Uh, it's not that fly. It's, <laughs> that's semi, that's it's semi five. fly. It's five. It's, it's five, five fly. Five. It's five fly. How five, did you do? Uh, six. Wow. Five, five plus what? No, five. No, no, five. Cool. Okay. How can, you're that an elf. be fun. <laughs> All right. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> Inside of a big robotic person. That's Halfway true. across the bridge, you guys start to wobble and teeter. <laughs> now I'd like the two arm guys to try to flap their arms. <laughs> what am I rolling here? Come on, guys, do it for us. Yeah. Save us. Uh, what should it be? Should it be Dex? No, what, not Dex. What's that? Charisma? <laughs> Performance? How about animal handling? <laughs> uh, this should be a, this is like back trying to keep your balance. And th- okay. These arms are an extension of you, so let's say dexterity, acrobatics, and then you both suck at that. That would be a 14 for this boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 12. Good enough. Tens, right? Yeah. yeah. The flapping arms keep you guys from falling nicely over. Nicely done, nicely done. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Was. I shouldn't say anything. You should have broken out the giant umbrella. No, was, was my beam still on? <laughs> Just lay no. waste to half the countryside. <laughs> People it's are gonna morning. Be trying to, you turned yeah. it off this morning. I assume exactly. you just let her spelling your name in the right. sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going on. Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's up to you. Up to you. I turned it off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's say that is the way we do it. <laughs> Some farmer over in Womford is just like <laughs> vaporized. <laughs> Half his house just yeah. disintegrates. <clears throat> Womford is actually a place on this map, Chris. <laughs> this is a badass. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, night turns to day, turns to night, turns to day, turns to night, turns to day, and you end up approaching about midday. Off to the, your left, the large town of Daggerford, which is a walled, fortified town perched on a hill. Daggerford fans in the house? Yes. Daggerford yeah. represent? It's next to the Delambier River. Are you River. from Daggerford? Are you from Daggerford? Anyone here from Daggerford? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just... That's pretty good. Did he say Daggerford High School football yeah. rules? Football rules. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> All right, everybody remember where we parked. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep. Just south of Daggerford (laughs) is another bridge spanning another gorge and another river, but you don't have to cross it if you want to just chill in Daggerford for a night because you've been sort of rocking this thing. I've heard that one night in Daggerford is like a week. We'll make a hard man (laughs) humble. (laughs) Yeah. Do we want to rest? I don't think, you don't go through Daggerford. You stop. That's what I've heard. Just don't drink the water and you'll be fine. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, bottled water. Bottled, bottled water, water only. <laughs> yeah. um, and don't get like a salad and think you're okay because they wash the lettuce with the water. Oh, so. absolutely. Yeah. And ice? No ice, thank no you. No ice. That's how they get no you. No ice. That's exactly I right. I might owe money in Daggerford. Just, just how much fly. money? I got debts all up and down the Sword Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> every, gil- every gambling house? Yeah, oh yeah. All right. All right, but you are going to pause here. Yeah, let's, 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 right. let's pause. I'll, you we'll, park. Here, no, let's, let's, let's park it like in a copse of trees that like come up to about the waist. <laughs> <laughs> like it's totally cool. No one will see it. Hey guys. Yeah, all the guards in Waterdeep see this giant statue walk and decimate this forest. 
birds flying into the air everywhere. And, and we just saunter out of the bushes, and the first guy was like, what's with the statue? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? Was that here last time I was here? I don't think that was here that last new? time. You guys need to get one of those signs, like biggest statue. It's, like, <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. Everybody, of course, when you actually come in through the gates of Daggerford, everybody's on edge because they saw the statue, and they don't have a clue what's going on. Guards are going crazy. Uh, it's fine. We're just here to get a drink. Yeah, exactly. Are yeah, we, are yeah, we, that's, that's how we want to drive this fucking thing. <laughs> are we yeah, planning exactly. on spending the night in Daggerford? Um, I, think, I think we were probably just it's reprovisioning. Not, or, yeah, okay. yeah. It's a little bit rocky. I mean, Halister didn't build his statue for comfort. Sure. And, you know, you got, like, sore butts. Okay. Yeah. The commander of the watch, a, a human woman named Sherlan Miller... Thank you. She comes up to you with a group of guards. Um, they don't have their weapons drawn or anything, and she says, What does she yes. say, Chris Perkins? She says, Vandal. And the halfling says, Captain! That's so great. So the whole time I'm thinking I'm going to have to deal with some, and she's actually looking at Vandal. Okay, great. Uh, let me present to you the CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated, Omen Dran, my good friend Morgane, the amazing wizard Jim Blackmagic, and the awesome, awesome Benwin Bronzebottom. Hello. <laughs> Howdy. And he says, I told her you were coming. Okay. You didn't pick up any of that with your magical brain juice? You didn't figure that out? <laughs> he was singing songs when I listened in. I... When you tuned in? Yeah, I tuned out pretty quick. Yeah. And uh, she says, well, we are going to put you up at the local inn. Nice. Uh, this, you'll enjoy it. It's called the Happy Cow. All right. I have got, I've got strong brand associations with cows. And uh, you're able to spend the night there. You're able to restock. Everybody treats you like you are just super awesome. When you're here, you're family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Vandal says, if you like, I can it's have like a table OG. set up out front where you can do, you know, autographs. <clears throat> Absolutely. Oh, sweet. I break out the Binwin merch. Ooh, yeah. like 20 gold pieces All each. Right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. guys can sell them. Each. 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 And people in town want to hear item. about the story of how your house crashed. And I'm happy, more than happy to tell They want to know it. all about your family, and you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, you're selling your merch. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you got, what do you got? You got the mug? I got t-shirts that say, uh, bin it to win it. Yeah. <laughs> Copyright Chris Straub. That was his idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I have fake Benwin beards. Oh, for the kids. Yeah, for the kids, yeah they love yeah. those. They love the. They, uh, do you got like the horned mug? I do have. Those are limited. Yeah. I got a couple horned mugs. Because I know, you I know, want I know one, there was a recall. I know. <laughs> I know there's a recall on those. They were. Yeah. They were leaking. They are made entirely of lead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> I got some of my uh, 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 dwarven stout. Oh, the limited. You're rolling the barrel You're gonna out. You're going to sell that? No. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. That's for after. That's for after we acquire. Okay. That's post-acquisition. Roll that back up in the butt. All right. <laughs> Get that back up in the butt. Roll uh, that back in the butt. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Loud, I, raucous I, music. Yeah, yeah. I give... Minstrels I, playing. Yeah, yeah. Your I, minstrel playing. Doves. I, I talk about setting up um, your own C or S corporations. I talk about, the, the, <laughs> I talk about the, the tax advantages and how it sort of protects you from... It's like um, a medieval legal zoo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that sort of flies over the heads of most of the people here. <laughs> but it's important information. Yes, uh, but they hang on your every word. Mm -hmm. And as you're drinking it up and having a good time, you can see off in a corner, uh, Captain Miller is now off duty. She's having a drink with a, uh, an older gentleman, a little bit of gray in his beard. Uh, he's got some armor on. He looks like a, a fairly noble, respectable, gallant fellow. Uh, and you can see he's leaning Maybe. heavily on a cane. Yeah, so someone who came out to Daggerford to retire, probably. Y yes, exactly. Yeah. Good weather, and, uh, good tax oh, situation. Exactly. Oh, yeah, and his bones. Mm -hmm. And when he sort of catches your attention, he just raises a mug to you. Right back at you. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually want to ask, I actually want to ask Captain Miller about Vandal. So I'm going to take this opportunity to wander over there. Do you want me to distract the guy? If you want to talk to her privately, mm -hmm. I could try to get the guy to come. Hang out with me. Information. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. All right. So let's start with the distraction. Um, 
so I have very low charisma. So I'm just gonna go in there and- Hey, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dipshit, over here. <laughs> I was gonna go with Buddy. I was gonna go, hey, what? Buddy. Um, exactly. But you also have the so, but you also have the you also have the social anxiety piece, right? <laughs> Don't so I the, know you somewhere? I am an outlander. <laughs> you, yeah, you seem really old. <laughs> she just walks up and goes, distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz hands. Maybe we should yeah. send somebody else. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Um, no, no, you're, you're over the right. It's like you're, you're you're sort of like practicing like the mantra. Like the interpersonal mantra, like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. And I'll just, I'll just put a hand on your shoulder. It's okay. So I, I, see that, I, I see that she's struggling. I understand what she intends to do. <laughs> and, uh, and I approach this uh, older gentleman. He, he raised a mug in my direction, right? Yes, he did. And I asked him if he would like to see a card trick. That's a good open. I was going to ask That's to see nice. a sword. That <laughs> no. was going to be my thing. <laughs> and I didn't think that was going to really be <laughs> You can't go straight for the sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I would. Cool. So would I. <laughs> do you know anyone around here who knows no. cards? Uh, no. So I, 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 I do have a deck of cards, and, uh, and uh, I begin to show him. Uh, I begin a, to a, blow his mind. Yeah. This, it's like Chris Angel mind, mind free. free. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Is this your credit card? Yeah. It's like the card is inside a dragon egg. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Uh, you can make a charisma check if you have deception or performance or some other skill you want to use. I have performance. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. He's uh. like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's not his card. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that he's trying to pay attention. He's, he's being respectful, but he's still he keeping sorry an eye. For you. He's, he's not He's not fully <laughs> engrossed in your attempt to hold his attention. He is still right. looking around. Somebody come over and intimidate him? Yeah. Hey. Pay attention to Mary! <laughs> <laughs> My friend is really cool. <laughs> Look at the cards! I could try the sword thing. <laughs> so you, you three just go in a rotation <laughs> trying to yeah, impress da, 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 this da, da, old da, da, man. <laughs> So that, did, that didn't seem to work so well. Eventually, I just take my shirt off. Okay. <laughs> Are we getting closer? Is it anything? <laughs> uh, yeah, how about this? How's, how's this working? <laughs> All right. So, um, uh, I clean glasses with Captain Summer, uh, uh, and thank her for her hospitality. Uh, and I, oh and no, I, you can thank Lady Morwen Daggerford. She, she here? Well, she's in the Ducal Keep. Ducal? Is that a word? Like well, of the Duke? Yes. I get out a notepad. He says, she says, as a matter of fact, <laughs> Daggerford has the only reigning Duke in the region. Hmm. I am learning a lot tonight. <laughs> this is great. I got the word. I got the... Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Uh, you probably would have been invited to dinner there, but uh, I don't know what's going on up there this evening. There's some, some business they're dealing with. But anyway, uh, my Lady Morwen did want me to say how much she appreciates all that you have done for the Sword Coast and hopes you continue... <laughs> to come to its defense in its time of need. Absolutely. No, and, and please be sure to tell the lady that we plan to walk well around Daggerford. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna walk straight through like we we're gonna go around. Maybe we might go by Crom's hold or something like that. Is something it, like, isn't we're not gonna a walk Duke through. A guy? Yes. Are you still there with your shirt off? Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, hey wait Excuse a second. Me. I want, I want to talk about some hierarchy stuff. <laughs> yes, Lady Morwen is his sister, and she uh, does much of the administration. Oh. There we go. She's a Lady Duke. <laughs> well, no, she's not the Duke. Oh. She is the Duke's sister, Lady Morwen Daggerford. Got it. I'm just are, we, are you caught up? I'm on it. Do your job. So, is this your card? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think for the hospital, I, I ask, I ask uh, the captain how long she's known Vandal. Does she think him trustworthy? Yes. Does that make her a duchess? <laughs> Only if she were married if to she her were brother, married which to, she is not. If she were married to her brother, yes. It would also make her something else. Got it. <laughs> you can see these links are completely connected. <laughs> They're not coming apart. They are not coming apart. Uh, anywho, <laughs> night falls, party's over, you guys are sleeping, having a great time. Jim is. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, with all of your adoring fans. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I wake up in yes. the morning. Okay. Refreshed. Yes. Uh, Morgan, is there anything you wanted to do in town before they shuffle off? Do you have any suggestions? Um, well, let's see. I'd put something in Jim's bag. Yeah, yeah. I have never <laughs> thought of that. Is this going to work? Depends on what I roll for charisma. It depends yeah. what, if it'll work. Yep. Whatever you want to try. It's totally up to you. Apparently, I don't have any charisma, so I don't <laughs> any answers from... Uh, you sort of look around, and uh, maybe you sort of wander about. Like, you're not making a lot of friends here. I don't make friends anywhere. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <coughs> and uh, people seem to turn off to you quite quickly, maybe because you weren't single-handedly responsible for defending Waterdeep against all that and all that, and you're like, fuck those guys. Uh, uh, but when you head off, um, a, you see a man with silver hair. He's human, not particularly old, but his hair has gone prematurely white. And he sort of, uh, he's waiting outside the tavern and says to you, hey, I, I see, you know, you're not particularly happy in that environment. Um, uh, my name is Brath. Do you mind if I show you around? It's a little forward. A little brash, Brath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm brash in bed, but no. Whoa. I'm then no. no, I'm not going with you, <laughs> creep man. He doesn't say that. He says, no. He says something cool instead. He says something cool instead. <laughs> Chris Perkins said that. Something, yeah, that was something Chris slick being and stupid. romantic. Yeah. yeah, that was Chris being stupid. What something he says... Something suave. What he says is, uh, my name is Brath Targoon. I'm, uh, I've lived in the city, or I've lived in the town all my life, and, uh, but I came here a stranger just like you. And I know where you can get really good Thai food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he says, it's a beautiful night. I can walk you around the castle walls. You can sort of keep a lookout, get a lay of the land. Maybe you can ask me some questions, you know, about the town. Be happy to answer them. Okay. <laughs> First, I want to... <laughs> Make good list, choices. Guys. Okay. <laughs> Make good choices. First... I take my keys and I put them between each finger and I yes. have them ready. <laughs> I have some money in case I need to get home in an emergency. <laughs> um, I am going to maybe do a perception check to see... What this? What I feel about this guy? Uh, in that case, it would be an insight check, which would be still wisdom based. So that's even mm. higher. Oh great! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I have a lot of blanks in a lot of these categories, you guys. So I got to take what I can get. Okay. Ooh. Eighteen. Wow. Nice. This guy is not on the level. <laughs> he is. <laughs> but no. Now acquisitions incorporated. We have a rule. It's in the charter. You can kill one motherfucker in each town free. <laughs> free. No questions asked. No. <clears throat> if somebody comes to you, if they come to me and they're going to say, hey, you know, Morgan killed somebody, I'm going to say, well, that was her one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if she kills two people, you, yeah, you, you bring me that. Yeah, just one guy? Yeah, yeah. If she kills two people, you Why tell me Why are you bothering me, me with this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you sense from this guy isn't that, you know, it's not like, hey, I want to get you by yourself. It's more like... This guy, there's an undercurrent of threat that he is trying very hard to mask. Like he is. Then I don't want to go with this yeah, guy. <laughs> good choice. <laughs> that would certainly be your instinct. He's hiding it very well, but you are extremely perceptive when it comes to these sorts of deceptions. You think this guy actually means you harm? Okay, so I'm gonna tell him to like, wait right here. Yes. I'm gonna go inside the tavern, and just don't come back outside. <laughs> 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 that came pretty naturally. <laughs> I'm going to be he right says, back. I just forgot my, my um, pouch. I didn't offend you or anything, Some did I? Items. I didn't mean to come across this forward. I apologize. Oh, no, it's totally fine. I'm just going to get my, my keys. <laughs> <laughs> my, keys. My, my, giant, my giant robot. I forgot the keys. With the beam in the hand. <laughs> <clears throat> he says, I'll be waiting. Sweet. Cool. I can't yeah. You guys will back me up. Is yeah. I know we just is he met. Creepy but enough? I feel Am like... I getting the right creep here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If if he was, we should tell him that you can introduce him to your dad. Except your dad is a gigantic robot, <laughs> <laughs> whose arm is a is a gun. Who is your daddy? Who is yeah, your exactly. daddy? Exactly. One of these. All right. What do you guys do when uh, she sort of wakes you up? 
I let him sleep in. I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm gonna let him sleep in. <laughs> She's just, just gonna go in and go you to just bed. Just go inside and go to bed. Just <laughs> yeah. leave him outside. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. The dawn comes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys come out. Your belly's full. <laughs> happy as clams. I have to get my goblet or whatever. All right. I come down for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah breakfast. Yeah. And I, uh, I go outside. Okay. Nobody there, of course. I drink my breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You right. And I can see, I mean, there's probably some kind of strange bird roosting on the statue. I love mm -hmm. it. It's the 2014. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, I'll, say my, I'll say my piece to Captain Miller. Yep. Thank well, she's, again. she's gone. She's yeah, gone. yeah. But thank you. Let, let, let's, let's reprovision and get back in the uh, bot. Okay. All right. That's what you do. But we have to check it first, make sure there's no creepy guy inside. Brash. Oh, That's sure. actually not a wow. bad idea. Wow. I would not have thought to do that. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> We, we are learning a lot. <laughs> so, Stonecutter. Yeah. Make sure that nothing is fucked up about this thing. Look under the robot, because they hide under there and they slash your ankles when you try to get in your car. <laughs> I mean, what's, your robot. What's a gang initiative? <laughs> right? It's a gang initiative. All right, so I'm going to roll uh, 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 wisdom. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would know? It's got to be you. You're the only guy. You guys have no idea what this game is, right? We <laughs> 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 show, ha. Huh? What? That was Jack, right? No. No, it rolled completely flat on a flat surface. So I go into the robot and I start touching the walls and I go, doesn't feel skeevy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ben one gives the all clear. Yeah, yeah. You go up in it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we, insta we install. I don't want to seem stupid, so. <laughs> <laughs> we, insta we install ourselves in the seats. Okay. Um, buckle everybody else in. You make sure you have all your retainers. Mm -hmm. all yep, right. yep, buckle them all in in the back. Okay. Uh, Vandal shows up. Oh, my head. It's killing me. Oh, we almost forgot him, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we, we were waiting for you, actually. Oh, so yeah. That's we good. were. Good thing good you got thing here. Thank God you're here. We can go. You should, you should ask. He, Vandal, is, Vandal is hooked up. You should ask Vandal him about Vandal is hooked up. You should ask him about that dude. Okay, yeah. Right? I mean, we yeah. don't technically know about the dude, but. But you should ask him about that dude. Meta. meta. Right? Yeah. That's so hey. meta. Hey, Vandal. Can you tell me about Brash the Blast? What was his name? Brath. Brath. J Zach Brath. Tell me yes. about Zach Brath. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know who you're talking about. I'm sorry. But I got a picture on my phone if I show you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was at the party. <laughs> yeah, he was at the party. You don't know anything about him? Yeah, he was with some woman. Which woman? They were very cozy. Was she prettier than me? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. Nah. We've nah, never it, had that joke no, at the table. That is the first. <laughs> that was great. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. That was very funny. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> So, and, say and so we're, we're, we're like sitting in our magical chairs, and we're watching this. We're watching this conversation take place. Yeah, yeah. He's like, no, no, I never met her. But yeah, he says. What kind of woman was she? A uh, human? She, or? she was a human woman. Okay. Uh, she wasn't prettier Those than you. The best. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Perfect. Uh, she had I some, like her more and more She had some scars minute. on her face. Okay. Yeah, she's out of the room. She's a little though. sketchy then, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they were very cozy, very cozy, and they were. Did uh, she look like magic, or did she look? Like a hunter. Like nah, a she hunter. looked like you. And like, I mean, not as pretty so as you. So he has a type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a type, exactly. <laughs> but she looked like a bit of rough road, you know? <laughs> a bit of what? Rough road. Oh. road. Wow. I'm feeling really bad for this lady now. Christopher Perkins. What? <laughs> if we meet up with them, I'm going to be her friend. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He says, you don't need to worry about her or any other girl. You're amazing. You're fantastic. <laughs> so, can you... Uh, don't worry I about it. I set it up. Yeah, something, something's fucked up. Forget about, this about it. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, well, I, I turn the keys. All right. You come to... The, you're going to avoid the other bridge? Yeah, yeah. We're going to avoid the other bridge. We're going to avoid Daggerford. All right. We'll add some time, but, I mean, if we ever want to go back there... It seems yeah, like, you how, march how, the days how, away. How were merch sales? Strong home, eh. right? No. Really? Everybody wanted these goddamn pins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Right. 
We've got to get the margin higher on the pins. That's the problem. That's it. That's the, that's the issue. All right. Eventually, you come to a small uh, roadway village called the Way In. Oh. I get it. Yeah, I see it. I see it on the map. It's along the tradeway south of Boston. Yeah. Oslo. The Way In. The Way In. Yeah, yeah. It's not a We're dirty joke, okay? <laughs> it's a, oh, like The Way In. The Way In. Yes. I get it. It's right next to the A Blink Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Now, obviously, the, the village is... The house go in. The village... Wow, and then, these are great. And then the medieval La Quinta, the Mexican. <laughs> I take that on. So that was That's my, you. That's my all joke. you. Copyright me. So it is winter. Yeah. There are some hills here. They're covered with snow. It's pretty cold. There are some pine trees inside the wooden palisade that surrounds the village. And uh, it's not big enough for you to park your engine of destruction <laughs> inside. Right. You kind of have to put it outside, but there's no real way to hide it. I mean, it's just going to be this right, gigantic right. statue. Sure, sure, sure. Can I, I know I can polymorph creatures. Can I polymorph an inanimate object, like the statue? Uh, it's not something this big. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I could if I wanted to. But, but I choose not to. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> yeah. Not this time. Not this time. Yeah. That's what I say to them. Right. <laughs> Do we want to stop at this end, or do we want to just jam? I think we want to jam. You've been going for several days yeah, we're since up. leaving super Waterford. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> super tough? Uh, yeah. If there's a Denny's next to it, I'm ready to stop. Oh, okay. There's <laughs> always a Denny's. Yeah. If there's a Denny's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a moon over Haverford. Moon's over Haverford. All right, guys, but if we see creepy guy again, I'm going to shoot yeah, him in the head. Yeah, yeah, I was just, yeah. And, that's, and that's legit. Like I say, you get one in each town. Yes. I mean, okay. technically, if you killed him, you could kill get another one near New the end. town. Yeah, exactly. Yep. New town. All right, uh, so you climb out of your statue, you go into the way in, you go to Denny's. Moons Grand over Slam. Miami, Grand absolutely. Yeah, moons over Miami. Yes. Yeah. And uh, at breakfast. After you're, as you're eating, the snow begins to fall pretty heavy, and by the time you're done and heading back out to the statue and saying, thanks for the pancakes, yeah. um, you realize that there are figures standing inside the village square uh, half hidden by the heavy snow that's falling. They are all dressed in black. Uh, Which is great, because the snow is white. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind exactly. of a bad choice on their Contrast. part. Contrast, yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah. Yeah. They, they fucked up. But they, <laughs> they sort of, they, they cut a really interesting profile. They don't look like any bad guys you've run into before, but they clearly look like bad guys. That's what they look like. What the fuck? What the heck? Kind of have the same hat on. I was going to say, wow. you see the hair? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool looking. That's, yeah. yeah. Wait, but that's... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's your friend. Yeah. That's, that's my, what? My what buddy. happened? Oh, white hair? Yeah. Arr. White hair? He's cute, though. Maybe I should have been nicer to him. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> Un, you know, like, uh, yeah. tried, like um, gray too soon. Mm. You can see that they're sort of standing in a semicircle in front of the tavern. And Are they, like, mumbling or anything like that? Nope. Okay, because I, uh, I hate that kind of stuff. They're just, they're just standing perfectly still. The wind is sort of catching their cloaks a little bit. Uh, there's the figure in front of you who looks just like that. There's a female dressed similarly to him standing a few, like, about 20 feet to his side. Maybe I shouldn't be her friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I take that back. And yeah. I'd, before I the mean, battle begins, I'd like you to together, roll one more perception before check. Before the battle begins, kind of jumping in there. <laughs> Because they're pulling out daggers at this God. point, or big yeah. short swords. You cannot roll nice. today. Ten. Eight. Nineteen. Three. Wow. <laughs> all right, so all you see are these nine cloaked, masked figures, nine? and they all pull out blades. Nine? Nine. Who has area of attack spells? <laughs> because I do not. Yeah. Oh. I can hit a few. Who has what? <coughs> AOE. 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 Oh, AOE. 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 Yeah, yeah. So what would you like to do? Me. Because they haven't attacked yet. So they, they haven't drew, attacked yet. They drew knives. They, look they like, drew knives? Yes, they drew blades. Well, where I come from, that's javelin chucking time. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, yeah, so they're, bra uh, they're brandishing? I yes. Look, I look to Omen for the cue. I, I definitely pull the wands out, but I, right. I do look to Omen for the cue. The snow cue. is coming down. The wind is whipping through your cloaks. You're standing out there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me off the chain, boss. Yep. This dog's got a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 start, I just adjust, I loosen up my shoulders, and I say, all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Initiative. Yep. I got 10. <laughs> I need a good roll here. Yeah. 
Actually, I need a new D20 is what I need. That, that D20's that borked. borked. Are your retainers with you? Um, they are, I, I think they're with us, but I don't, I don't ask shit, them buddy. to, I ask them to do mostly light filing. I don't ask them to. <laughs> yeah, they're no good in combat. They the, would want to pay dice raise. Witch yes. in the audience? <laughs> Hazard pay. I have Jim's D20 if you want. But is the dice witch here? She's not, okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you, need, you need cleansing. I need the dice witch. <laughs> All right. Omen, what was your initiative? Ten. Five. I'm replacing this one, too. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 so my Morgan Borderlands D20s that I got, and that one's How about you, Benway? Eleven. It's giving you trouble. It's giving me a little trouble. Okay. How about you, Jim? Ten. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't look... Is that look a good the, wow? I think that was a good wow, like right? They don't look slow. No. Okay. All right. They lunge at you with great ferocity. This one. Sweet. It's my, it's my uh, who's in the front ranks? I guess that would be you. Not yep. me. In the back. Actually, yeah, are yeah. you all sort of arrayed, kind of in a single file, standing next to each yeah, other? Yeah, we kind of lined up. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of Abbey Road we, looking. Reservoir all your, it. all your tools behind you. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, Omen. Yes. One guy attacks you twice, uh, but he does not roll over a 15. That is, that makes me so happy. All right. <clears throat> Jim. Yes, sir. Two guys attack you. They do not roll over a 10, so I'm assuming you're safe. <laughs> I am. All right. Binwin. Barely. <laughs> oh. uh, one of the guys crits you once. Okay. And another of the guys crits you once. Okay. Oh. oh. I got this. <laughs> are they attacking with metal weapons? They are. All right. Total damage. Why? Well, because I'm a heavy armor master, so every hit I just, I just schluff off four. All right. Wow. Well done. That's why we brought him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a party trick. You take 36 points of damage what from the, the first fuck attack. Are you talking oh. about? From the first attack. Where's your health? 24. You guys, maybe My change God. of plans. Yeah. So. <laughs> maybe I should use the hunter's veil and we should just go. That would have killed me. I got it. It's, uh, it's fine. I'm good. <laughs> that would have killed two of me. No, no, it's fine. So, but 32, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Shit. And some of that, some of that was lightning damage, but I assume you have no resistance to lightning damage? No. All right. Then you take another 36 points. What? Some of which is acid damage. They critted. Two crits. Okay, hold on a second. How in God's name can you survive that? All right, hold on. So the first one, the first one was 32 total. Yeah. The second, second one is 36, 32. so another oh, 32. Right, yeah. And that's uh, 64. 64. And they hit you with two of their four attacks. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Oh, my God. I'm good. I might need a little healing. <laughs> <laughs> Jim. Now, now, Morgan, yeah, you're yeah, actually, yeah. you've actually got three on you, uh, including the, the head honcho guy. Uh, the my, first my one misses you twice. Yeah. Uh, the woman. Okay. Uh, She's supposed to be my friend. I think she misses you twice. Do you have an AC of 13 or worse? I have 15. All right, you're okay. And then the big guy hits you once with a normal hit. Are you immune to fire? No. All right. That's rare. Seems like an important question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was not on the resume. It was <laughs> All right. You take 16 points of regular damage and uh, six points of fire damage. Okay. Jeez. I don't know. What color is the flame? It, Thank you. Well, this is a That's going to stick around. This is a real, this is a real shit show. All no, right. no, it's going great. It's going great, you guys. At that point Maybe in time, been nice to him. the two wyverns that you what? didn't see. What? what? The two steel wyverns. Out of the snow, the falling, falling snow, uh, you hear this sort of crunching sounds as these dragons race across the ground toward you from the sides like velociraptors. Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So these are so I mean these are dragons with scorpion tails. Yes. Awesome. Yep. The first one comes in and attempts to bite you, Binwin. 
bite you, Benwin? No, no, no. there's yeah. no joke there. Didn't work, I don't think. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, and it rolls a 17. No, the teeth glance off my plate. All right. Then it tries to stab you through the face with its stinger. Uh-oh. And it misses. Okay. <laughs> the face is the one weak, my one weak spot. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> the cheek one kill. Of the, one of the wyverns tries to bite you, but way misses. Whew. Uh, his stinger, however, he rolled a 18, so that's going to be a total of 24. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> you just got you crocodile. You can throw one of those heels my way. Do you have any immunity yeah. to poison damage? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> nice heel. Oh, this is, that's bad, right? La, 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 la. Are you, are, la, hold la, on a second. Chris, are you going, are you going back to the old type? Hey, uh, what is the old uh, type? Straight up, da, right da, da, now, da, da, somewhere da. Wheaton is there laughing at us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just laughing. Sure. This isn't first edition. You're not dead. Okay. 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 That's what I mean by the old type. When those uh, fucking things would sting okay. you, if you didn't make your save, that's just your character now. Your character is a, a wyvern. <laughs> so you take uh, eight points of damage from the stinger and 24 points of damage from the poison for a total of 32. Jim's down. All right, so you, you dealt... You dealt 24 to me. I did. Are you saying another 32? No, no, no. You're saying 32, 32 total. 32 total. I am uh, negative two. All right. And I'd like you to make a constitution saving throw. Jesus. Okay, well, that's, gonna, that's okay. My plus is zero. All right. <laughs> 11. Okay. Uh, are there any uh, final words you want to say? <laughs> what? <laughs> a monologue, a death scene, anything? Uh, this is unexpected. <laughs> <clears throat> Blame Mike Faylauer. Yeah. You want me to leave the table? <laughs> no, yeah. no. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> He said ben, blame Phelan. Oh, I thought you said join him. <laughs> like off stage. No, no, you can't leave. Uh, but you're, you, you feel the poison, hot poison, coursing through your veins, and you know it's going to overcome you, but you're, you sh you're just not ready to just fall over without right. some sort of dramatic moment. So what does that mean? It means how do you want to die? How do you want to die? I'd like to go out doing some kind of spell. <laughs> That's the way I would want to well, you go. Have, you have the swift spells. I mean, you can do the. It could be the doves. <laughs> you have all the swift spells. In the no, I, I could. Yeah. But I would like to try and help at least before I. Do I? I no, do no, I have no. an energy for one spell before I go? Uh, you're you're sort of surprised at this point here because you gotta, this is the surprise round. You haven't been able to actually take an action yet. Do you like Blade Runner? It just go time to die and then doves. <laughs> yeah. If, if that's all I can do, dubs. <laughs> Is this your car? That's pretty good. Jim just sort of sinks into the snow and just sort of face plants. Jim! Thanks, buddy. You owe me 10 bucks! What? <laughs> you can take it off his corpse later. We're gonna search that. It's in my front pocket. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Healer! Next up is the bad guys. The bad guys? What? Who were those guys? <laughs> Who else attacked but the bad guys? That was the surprise round. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Omen, you are hit once. You are slashed once for a total of six Regular damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, and six? Six. Six acid damage. Twelve okay. total. Wow, yep. twelve. Are you okay? Oh, are you all right? <laughs> Do you want to take a sit down? <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel good. I feel good. All right. Does he cough? Binrin? 
Yeah. Uh, of the attacks hitting you, one hits and one crits. Oh, you're dead. I don't think we're going to get out of this one. I think we're going to get stealth. The hit does five points of damage. Four of which I get rid of. Plus four points of lightning damage. Shit. <laughs> okay. And then the second one deals a total of 16. What the crap? 16? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Ben wins down. Oh. He's negative 12 down. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finn wins down. So unless this is a dream sequence. <laughs> it's like the end of Newhart. We're just going to wake up, right? Yeah, next to Susan More game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are hit uh, once with okay. a regular attack for a, for a total of nine do I get a, points of do damage. Do I get a death scene? <laughs> and three points of cold damage. Cool, and then cool. the second attack that hits you comes from the guy with the white hair, and he crits you. Okay. It could be fine, you guys. Guys, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, it's unlikely. Gonna... But could be. For 16 damage, oh. plus eight points of what? acid damage. <laughs> this yeah, is going to be like the end not... of Breaking Dawn, right? <laughs> <laughs> not that I've seen it. I'm not alive anymore. <laughs> Are you, are you dead? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, not really so much with the alive part. You're down? Yeah. All right, more game face thanks plants. For, thanks for coming, Morgan. It's been real. No, no, it's Aren't a great time. Glad? I really appreciate the hospitality everyone showed me today. Yep. <laughs> Omen. You just got x played. Nine guys. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Too soon. Too soon, yeah, too soon. Too it's soon. been like a year and a half. <laughs> there are nine guys who look like this surrounding you and your three unconscious companions or dead companions as the case may be and there are two hungry wyverns breathing hot and heavy on the back of your Avenge neck Avenge our deaths <laughs> No pressure And you see the, you see the white haired guy with the master sword take his blade and very cleanly wipe Morgane's blood off of it that we had something. <laughs> <laughs> Omen. <clears throat> Omen just goes, you're hired. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he just. <laughs> um, there is no answer on that character sheet, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Keep looking through that spell book. You can see that. Uh, he just sort of gives a hand signal, and all of the other eight sheath their weapons. And he just sort of holds his hand up, and the, that seems to stay the, wi the wyvern's uh, attack as well. And he just watches you. Parlay. Parlay. <laughs> Parlay. <laughs> Parlay. <laughs> I would like to talk to you. <laughs> Do we know you? <laughs> We are the cult of the dragon. Stay away from Dragon Spear Castle. I actually saw you guys in uh, Hammerfell. <laughs> You're amazing live. Wow. <laughs> no, I don't say that. That was for your benefit. <laughs> this fucking guy just killed everybody. <clears throat> They're pretty good though. A couple the covers. The cult of the dragon. Do I, I mean, is it, is it, does that have a religious connotation? Like would, right I, would I? Do you know have? Anything about I, do that? you have a history or anything like that? Religion. I'll let that go. It's, I see, I feel like a very religious person. Yeah, you seem like a very religious person. <laughs> and you got Taimora, the goddess of luck yeah, on yeah, your side. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it seems like a good thing. Yep. Um, I mean, I, I just search my memory banks for that. I don't have those specific skills, but sure. you can still Just make an intelligence them, right? check, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Do it! Do it! Uh, six, I'm like, it's, it's like pub trivia. I'm like, God, <laughs> I, I think I've heard that. <laughs> I don't, but I don't really know. I say, Cult of the Dragon, yeah, I know about those guys. <laughs> Cult of the Dragon? So I mean, they're, they're, this is not a this is not a big brand. I mean, I don't know I don't know about these guys. I haven't. Yeah. They haven't franchised yet. Yeah, is what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Like okay. I don't have, they don't have a website. Uh, not that you're aware of. Um, as you're talking, Vandal comes out of the tavern and he says, "Okay, I'm ready to go now." <laughs> Sorry, I really had to go. <laughs> hey, what? what? 
Go and back he, inside. He sort of looks around. <laughs> says, I think I'm going to go back inside. Yeah. <laughs> he says, but if you need me, just shout. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I might shout when these nine guys stab me and the two wyverns <laughs> stick their stingers into me when I'm on the ground. But don't come out then. I need the opposite of a safe word. <laughs> He says, this masked fellow says, we know where you're going and we know what you're doing. Who was blabbing? I mean, sorry, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't I bet I... it was Vandal. Yes. Stay away from Dragon Spear. You have no business there. If you show up there, I will gut you. Too late. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I believe that that's true. It's been demonstrated. He says, this is a time when dragons will rise and claim this realm, and those that she does not deem worthy will perish, including the metallics. Tell that to your benefactor. Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sort of gives another hand sign, and uh, immediately he and the woman go to the wyverns. They saddle up. That's rad. And totally then the wyverns uh, alight, and the other ones basically just latch onto its legs, just hanging off of it in its oh, claws that's and weird. talons. That's pretty cool. And they that just really cool. take off into the wintry night. I want to join those guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, without, without a, as, soon as, as soon as I feel like I don't have to protect my torso from their dragon knives, mm -hmm. um, I immediately start casting Revivify. Okay. Um, party Revivify? Member to, you had that? Party member to party yes. member. Yes. All right. That brings Jim back to life. Yes. <laughs> And these guys aren't technically dead yet. That's right. Um, by the time you get to them, though, I do need them just to make a, a couple death saves for me. So do that thing. First, I, I give you a firm handshake that just devolves into a sobbing hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. It was so dark. Twelve. How was that? Twelve. You're good. Yeah. Also twelve. Good. Yeah. All right, yeah. you're able to stabilize them all. Yep, I stabilize them all. Um, I, get out, I, I get out some oil skins and drag them into the inn. Yep. All I right. am really, really mad. Sorry, boss. You all right? Our bad. I saw my nana. I was <laughs> saying, I saw my <laughs> No, there, there is, there is not, I don't, I'm not entirely sure there was something we could have done. The next time we fight these fucking people, it's going to be from the inside of a robot. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to cord that man <laughs> to, the, to the palm of Jim's arm. And I'm just, I'm, I'm going to break the lever off. <laughs> nice. So we, we need to get, we can't move an inch. We need to get healed up. And we're going, we are going to Dragon Spear Castle. That's happening. <laughs> My brand is on the line. Are we taking a vote or? <laughs> <laughs> we are, and it's, it's actually only corporate stakeholders, so. You, you All said in favor. that we were... No. You said I could get employee no, shares. You... Ten years. Am I not vested yet? <laughs> oh, Ten years. What? Yeah. It's all in the documents. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Ask Viari if you have any questions. Oh. And I, right. I don't think I have the contact info for AFL, but we'll see. <laughs> He's laughing at us right now. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> laughing his head off at our deaths. All right. So... We need, yeah, we need full, we, we, we can't leave this place until we are ready to go. Okay. We're eating hearty foods, a lot of antioxidants. Yep, yep. done. Creatine. Yep. 
Everything that the Way In can provide to you, they do. Yeah, yeah. Jim is lactose intolerant. Oh. Uh, any, any, special need, yeah. any special needs? Dietary requirements. Yeah, yeah. No, gluten requirements. no gluten requirements. No gluten free. No gluten. All right. Uh, but, but what if it was produced in a place that also produces nuts? Mm, can't eat it. Can't eat it. Can't okay. eat it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. So check out, check out the ride. Check out the ride? Check out the ride. I check it out. All right. Uh, what is this? Uh, stone cutter. This is your stone cutter. Right, but this is intelligence. You said check. like wisdom, right? Or perception. Is it wisdom? Check. Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. Wisdom. 11. Okay, you go in. Nobody seems to have bothered it. It's a robot. It. They didn't plant any wyvern eggs yeah. or some shit. No. no. All right. Uh, we could raise I'll, them as our own. That's exactly yeah. right. That's what we need is some yes. wyverns. The only thing Wait that bothers you is it's just, it up it's just really, really cold outside. Like winter is just pounding the hell out of this place right now, and the wind is picked up, and you're just freezing. Gotcha. I, w- I, I want to see if we can get this thing on a run. You want to mm. run? I think it's a great idea. I want to see if we can get this thing on a run. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's, that's legs. Mm. Yeah. You Do guys are fine. Because I've been way. rolling great on those. <laughs> Just get those Such arms ready. Worst hey, Jim, ever. make a perception check for me. Uh-oh. Sure. Yeah. I'd love to. No do. reason. Do that thing. <laughs> no, it's just, just for fun. Just for fun kicks. Twelve. Yo. Oh. Okay, well... Um, it isn't you kind of notice that uh, your halfling friend... Um, he left some of his, I guess in his hurry to leave or whatever, he left some of his cloaks and things back at the, the way in, and he's walking back to the thing with you. He doesn't seem to be affected by the cold at all. <gasps> yeah. He's like totally, totally oh. comfortable. So oh this God, is, let's this shoot is him. interesting. Because yeah. he's, he's, he's a dragon. Is there any, d- d- does steam even come out? Mm-hmm. Well, ho- hold on, so, yeah, yeah I think he yeah, might he's be... got cold breath, but he's not affected by the cold and he at has all. And he has like a shock of white hair too, right? Yeah, silver. Silver hair. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Silver dragon. Yeah. So that's why he wants us to make sure that another metallic dragon's eggs aren't corrupted. Oh, right. What do you mean he's a halfling? How can he be a dragon? Dragons can change their shape. They can polymorph at will. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh wait I mean, a second. That was I my might suspicion have once had beginning. sex with a dragon. <laughs> Is it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when he when he comes when he comes back in. We'll have a, a brief well, No, conversation. I'm walking with him. Yeah. yeah. And I notice there's no steam. No, there is. He's got oh, steam, steam coming up, but he's not bothered by the he's cold. He's not bothered by the cold. All right. Uh, I go, why didn't you tell us you were a dragon? <laughs> and why didn't you help us? Yeah, we're yeah, worried. Right? You. Yeah, really. Oh, that would have been really handy. No yeah, kidding. Yeah, uh, having a dragon? Mm-hmm. Even one dragon. What could have turned the whole thing around? <laughs> yeah, so why, why didn't you tell us you were a dragon? He says, ah, I didn't want to freak you out. <laughs> Also, also, I thought you could take him. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you had this. <laughs> I thought, oh man, oh man, uh, Brath has made one hell of a mistake. That's fair. If that was his name. <laughs> uh, he says, but you know, I will help you out now. Because uh, I can tell that you need a little help. Yeah. No, no, we're, we're fine I'm now. Gonna, <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody else that you're a dragon. Ah, go ahead. All right. <laughs> So when, as soon as we get inside the butt, I go... So this you want to know my full name? It's not really Vandal. That's just what they call me. What's, What's your actual name? Vano Wandalar. I can I see why they call you Vandal. Yeah. Exactly, but I love that it's still got the accent. Sure. It's so great. It's like Tyran, <laughs> Thraxis, all that old yes. shit. All right. Uh, all right, so when we get inside, I'm like, this guy's a dragon, and then I go sit down. <laughs> I, I think, cool. Sweet. <laughs> He says, although I will admit I am not as old or as big as either Tanazek or Thrilvian, so it's going to be one hell of a fight. What's the difference? What's the size difference, percentage-wise? Yeah, exactly. Are Cubic like, feet. Are you like 10% their size, or are you like 98% their size? <laughs> They're Maybe about three important. times bigger than me in my natural form. Oh, shit. That's bigger. That's bigger. That's so much bigger. He says, but I got this figured out, see. Yeah? If I'd we love can, to hear this. If we can get in there stealthily and time it... So that one of them is away, like hunting or something like that. We can take out one and not have to worry about the other one until it comes back. And maybe we can get out of there with the eggs before the other one shows up. It all hinges on stealth. Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I love it. Well, uh, you, you have got the juice, though. I do have stealth juice. 
Stealth juice. Mm -hmm. Stealth juice. From Acquisitions All right. Incorporated. Yeah. So you're going to try to break this thing out into a run? I, I, I feel like... Oh, I feel guys, like the, that's such a terrible idea. I feel like the... <laughs> I because the last we encounter went so this. well. That's going to take some right leg, left leg, oh, super coordination. So let's make some dexterity checks, acrobatics. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're just going to try it. If we fall down... You get back up. You get back up, all right? Yeah. We reach for the stars. Yeah. Why do we fall down, Mr. Burgess? Fortunately, once you, get pa once you get south of the way in, there's not much in the way of communities or things to stomp yeah. on. So. I wasn't worried about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't care about homes. I was worried about falling down. Right. All right. Breaking my giant robot. Oh, God. This was your idea, I would just <laughs> like to point out. All right. Mecca Hallister does a face plant. <laughs> All right, here, so you guys use the arms Hang to on. roll us up. Hold on. Sorry? Stop, drop, and roll. Is that what somebody said? Yeah. All right, uh, if you guys want to try to make a recovery check on that, another yeah. check to see if you can't roll Wouldn't this puppy. Wouldn't that be great? Wow. I can see from here what that she roll? that's a one. Oh, that's my God, I think Morgan. all of my dice are broken. <laughs> I would like all of you to make dexterity saving throws. Since that's worked out so great for me so far. Okay. Uh. Seventeen. Fifteen. All right, the magic number is eleven. Sixteen. Five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you guys are all safe because you're in your little strapped-in apparatus. Binwin didn't Sweet. attach a seatbelt and thought yeah, he, he didn't care. <laughs> he didn't care. <laughs> he goes tumbling <laughs> out and bouncing around the inside of this thing's skull and takes uh, 24 points of damage. Whoa! <laughs> and you hear uh, some unpleasant noises from the passenger cabin. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're liquefied, right? Yeah. It's like the magic bullet back there. Yeah, they just exactly. push it down. You could drink them. It's not pretty. Uh, before we get up, I, I need to cast a Cure Wounds. I, okay. I'm going to cast it at a second level so I get some bonus heal. He's like pinned under his apparatus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like a pachinko machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eighteen. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. It won't top you off, but it's, it's good enough for now. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so you're lying down. You need to get back up. This will require all of you to succeed at a dexterity check. Ah, uh, here we go. Guys, why do I have this such great idea? my high score. You can leave it behind. You don't have to take the giant 100-foot tall statue. Well, I did a great job. How's everybody else doing? 15 good. from this boy. Wait, which, what am I adding to this one? Dex. Dex, Dex modifier. Yeah. yeah, it's good for you. Six. <laughs> wow. Seven. I mean, it wow. made a really big difference. 14. Huh? All right. Bam. So with one arm and one leg, you're kind of able to roll over on your back. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, need life alert. Exactly. we need life alert. We need life alert. alert. Yeah. That would help. Right. This is how the entire rest of the game is going to be. It's <laughs> just going to be them trying to get back <laughs> to their feet. Let's just use the hands to push us up. There you go. Yeah, let's just do yeah. that. God damn it. <sighs> Eight. Eight. All right. Uh, they are not entirely successful. Can this thing cry like a baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Van yeah say, Vandal, uh, how... Oh he, he needs to get out and push. <laughs> you could probably use the staff in the one hand that That's you're controlling true. to. That's true. I am the yeah. staff arm. Thank you for that suggestion. Over. Guys, yeah. don't worry. This thing's got a built-in cane. <laughs> What I get? Seven. That's a, that's. Thanks for the staff suggestion. <laughs> All right, you try to bring the, the whole weight of the statue up on the staff. It snaps and you fall over. Oh. God damn it! That was after market. I mean, that's that's my bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's my bad. Vandal, if you became a dragon, dragon, not a halfling dragon. I know where this is going. <laughs> is there any way we could like? Have you ever seen The NeverEnding Story? <laughs> oh, Trey. I thought I was in The NeverEnding Story. Right. Well, we, we need the lift. Yeah, sure. I can carry all four of you. 
Let's do that. All right, let's, yeah! Let, let's, let's pile leaves. <laughs> Over put, it. put a branch <laughs> on it. Uh, a branch, like, right on the face. Right. <laughs> All right. I think that's good. You're yeah. just, the... just, uh, I'll chisel in, um, made possible by a grant from the Waterdeep Arts Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it there. Yeah, it's a beautiful installation. Yeah. Oh, it's exquisite. Yeah. Yes. It really is pristine. All right, we good? Yes. Yeah. You head outside. The dragon assumes its true form. And he's a good-sized dragon. He's about the size of, like, two Clydesdales. Um, and uh, that gives you maybe enough room for three on his back and one in his claws, or actually you could probably all four fit on his back. He has you hang silver, on no, to each other be really right tight. He has and silver scales. And, sorry? He has silver scales. Silver scales. Okay. Yep. I want to be right up behind the head, man. I want to be right okay. up front. <laughs> all right. That's you're the experience right you front. want. Yeah. yeah. Get the little goggles. As soon as you're in the air, I'm going to be like, I'm the king of Faerun! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh... <laughs> you got to hang on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you take to the air. And one of the remarkable things about riding on the silver dragon is he must have cast some sort of spell or done something because you don't feel any of the cold at all. Air conditioning. That's awesome. Perfectly Perfect. comfortable. Air conditioning has got... Um, yep. Somebody Beautiful. comes down with a tray with yeah, his you drinks. Feel, you feel the wind, but not the extreme bitter cold. Right. Okay. As he races over the landscape and carries you the rest of the way toward Dragonspear Castle. And he says, Now I don't know what we want to do when we get close. We could do a flyover and I can just drop you. <laughs> you remember to bring the parachutes from the Halister statue, right? <laughs> Everybody, or, please turn off their Kindles as I'm landing. <laughs> <laughs> or we can just drop you off at like a nearby tree patch or something. Yeah. Tree patch? What the fuck? That's probably it. I mean, that's, clearing? We can I mean, do it with a clearing because then he could come with us yeah. and become a halfling because that'd be very useful if he's little. Mm -hmm. And sneaky. It would be yeah, sneaky. Exactly. I don't think I could fit a full-size dragon under my So head. land a safe yeah. distance away. <laughs> silence, my veil of silence. Yeah, Lord of the Ring us and just eagle us halfway there and then just fucking take <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> peace out. Good luck. There's the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Right. <laughs> I'm out. Can't you just fly it right into the mountain? Eagles out. <laughs> All right. I said cacaw. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it. This is for Elven Forest Tricks. That's the, that's the part of the adventure we it's have arrived It's your time to shine. At. Yes. So I'd like the four of you to just come around to my side of the screen here. I want to show you a picture, but I can't show it to everybody because it's from the internets. Mm -hmm. I don't have Is it one of those kind of pictures? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher Perkins! Oh Whoa! My God. So this is where you're heading. Oh, wow. So Dragonspear Castle is perched atop a sort of a blasted lonely hill surrounded by fog in a sort of a rough, rough uh, landscape. There's not much vegetation per se. The castle has been hammered to death by countless and countless attacks, so it's just a battered ruin. But at some point in its illustrious... <laughs> What? There's <laughs> What's in the vid Was I making folder? some sort of gesture? I, uh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, at some point in its illustrious history, a dragon crashed into the top of the castle and died. Why do you have a folder called poop? <laughs> Let's open it. Let's open it. Let's, Let's open, open it. it. No. Open it. Open it. All right. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Pay no attention to my poop. Anyway, that's where he says okay. he's going to drop you off. All right. Poop castle. Poop castle. <laughs> but is there, is there enough? I mean, it's, it's, it's the place is basically a... Uh, a shell. A mystical war zone. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's covered with um, ruin. I mean, it should be... Yes. Uh, the approach should be pretty... Yeah. Does uh, it look covered. like it's patrolled? Like, do we see more of those black guards? As you swoop in... To the point where you can actually see it, you don't see any signs of habitation at okay. all. Well, and perfect. he says, yeah. That's just the way the green dragons like it. Yeah. Sure. Acid. But they're all yeah, I like green it that dragon. way too. Yeah. I, I feel them. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. And uh, he sets down, he adopts his halfling form, Shkunk. and you guys begin to creep up on the ruin. Okay. As you approach, uh, there's a gorge that you sort of have to cut, uh, cross over to get to the hill proper. And as you're making your way through the foggy gorge, you see something shambling toward you. Is, Is it, it a shambler? No. <laughs> uh, but out of the fog comes an undead knight. 
all desiccated and nearly skeletal. He's got flesh clinging to his bones. He's got a shield in one hand and a sword hanging in the other. And he looks friendly. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look friendly at all. You can see the pinpoints of his red eyes glowing as he sort of marches toward you. And then you see another one and another one. Yeah, I hold up my symbol of Tamora. Do they give a shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wow. So how many of these guys are we talking about? There are three that you can see that are approaching. Do they see, and they obviously see us. Perhaps. It appears they're focusing on you. Okay. Well, I attack. All right. Yeah. Time's up. Let's do this. Ben win! <laughs> Initiative! Ben win! Bronze battle! How'd you do, buddy? Oh, you want my initiative? I do. It is a 10. That's lower than last time, you know. Yeah, well, I got yeah. a minus one. 15. Noise. 23. Nice. Noise. 19. Oh, we're in the game now. Yeah. All right. We'll die second. More right? gain. You yes. get to go first. I'm going to use my longbow, which yeah. I have a 20. I hit. just rolled for 20, so I hit. <laughs> Thank you. No, first blood was actually our blood. <laughs> <laughs> and there was plenty of it. That took a little of the fun out of it. It did. I'm just saying that that way. But that's fine. That's fine. OK, so. First blood, part two. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I hit for five. Ooh, splendid. All right. And then I'm going to go again. Your arrow sticks in him. And I'm going to get an 18. OK. And I will hit Excuse for me. a nice. 10. Well done. And I'm also going to move away. OK. <laughs> it's better for the team if I am far away. <laughs> All right, uh, so you uh, bypass his shield, pierces his desiccated flesh, and he reels from that. He is still standing, but doesn't look great. At this point, it is Omen's turn. All right. I like what I'm hearing. Can you hear me that D4? Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring uh, my maul straight down on top of it. So, I mean, they did not respond or react in any way to no. that. The symbol. Which is unusual. You would expect an yeah, undead, absolutely. like a skeleton or a zombie or even a white or something to be blown away by Yeah, your... yeah, yeah. To be yeah. impressed at the very yeah. least. Well, <laughs> in fact, I'm in fact, impressed. Yeah, yeah. As, it gets, as it draws closer to you, you can almost see that there is a, almost like a, a magical emanation from it. Yeah, it yeah. seems to seem to fortify it. Well, uh, it's, it is my task uh, to instruct hmm. those who do not cower before tomorrow. Yep. So here we are. Uh, here it comes. It is Mall City, 18. Yes. Okay. You're attacking the same one. I'm attacking the same one. It's the one that the, the arrow is sticking out of. Yep. It. Six, one, seven, ten. Well done. Uh, you drop him to one knee, and then he gets back up to his feet. Mm. Next up is Jim. So I noticed this magical effect on them. Yeah. Uh, so, do I get the impression, I, I have Dispel Magic, do I think that I could wipe it, or? Uh, you think it might be worth a try? Try it on one that isn't kneeled. So one of the, one of the ones fresh, that has Try it on a it. fresh one, yeah. Yep. Uh, all right, so. There's a DC that you have to beat. Okay, on the fresh one, fresh. I, will, I will try Dispel Magic. Okay. Roll true. 15. You tear down that magic. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you got him shivering in his boots. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up is you, Benwin. I target the one that he just dispelled magic on. Yep. Combo. And I run at it with my, with my hand axes. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. I get two attacks per action, so here's the first one. Is there any one. sort of battle cry? Huh? Battle cry? <laughs> oh, my battle cry. <laughs> Since I'm avenging my own death, so it's like, for me! <laughs> <laughs> this one's for Binwin. <laughs> this one's for Binwin. Uh, so, 19. Yep. All right. You guys are rolling well. Uh, uh, seven points of damage on that one. Okay. All right, second axe. Keep it coming. Thunk. 
Ooh, that's a nine plus seven. Does that hit? Deflected by his shield. All right, I will use my uh, third attack. Bonus. I get a bonus attack. Okay. Once per action. Because of who I am. There All right, you go. 15 plus 7. You're going to do the math on these. So for another 10. Okay. Still not, still not down? Not visibly no. hurt? Different reaction. It's hurt. Different reaction here from the other one? From uh, the weaker one? Or the one that has had the Dispel Magic placed on it? Well, he, he's getting beat down. It's, yeah. Of course, the reaction is different. Yeah. He's just crumpling under the weight <laughs> of Benwin's blows. Yeah. Did you want to stop there? Or did you want to do... I don't know. Should I take my extra one now? All right. I'm going to take my action, action surge, surge, which yeah. gets me an extra action. And See I'm how I talked him into that? that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I got the thumbs up from my min-max coach. <laughs> Shit. Grr. That one missed. And Grr. that one missed. Oh. Poop. Because seven and five ain't going to hit. No. All right. All right. One of them comes at you, Benwin. He swings his sword twice. Uh, he's going to hit you with a 23 on one of them. That hits. Ugh. All right. Oops, wrong guy. That's what he rolled to hit, or that's the damage? <laughs> Here's the damage. Okay. The damage is 10. All right, minus four, so six. Okay. Another one's going to come at you, Benwin. Yep. He's going to hit you once for another 10. Okay, minus four. And the third one, since you're front rank there, he's no, going to have to you, too. No, I understand, yeah. Ooh. I am rolling like a demon. I'm sorry, man. Uh, my lowest it. roll there was a 22. Jeez. So you take a total of 15 points of damage. So where are you at, Benwin? Uh, hold on a second. So that's another 11. So I'm down to 45 hit points of yeah. my 72. Yeah. I'm All right. good. <laughs> uh, coming out of the fog, floating above the three knights, is what appears to be a wizard in red robes. Heal me. <laughs> Do I recognize him? Is it a red wizard? It is a red wizard. Yeah. Yes, you can see he's got some fur trim on his robes. He's got a, a bald he's head for with the tattoo. Season. Yeah, he's it dressed for the season. Yeah, exactly. And he's That's encanting nice. a spell. Uh, Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, here comes a little fire down the chimney for you. Uh, he does not target Binwin. He targets the back ranks and drops a fireball on the three of you. Plus, uh, plus four I was a little bit cold, so thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. That's a plus. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and the, I'd like you all to make dexterity saving throws. Except you, Binwin. Right. Yes, finally. Here's Vandal made his. 14. 21. Well done. 19. All right. Whew. 19 and 21 are great. <sighs> uh, you take 10 fire damage and 10 fire damage, and you take 21 fire damage. I rolled a 21. I oh, you rolled a 21. You rolled yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You rolled the 14? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you take the 21, and you take the 10. Sorry, oh, Jim. jeez. Heat. And appears Vandal also took some damage, and on its turn, Vandal will assume the form of a dragon. Yay! Thank That's, That's going to help a lot. Yes. Uh, and he him. looks over to you, Jim, and he says, Should I take out the wizard, or you got him? <laughs> uh, listen, don't be a tough guy. <laughs> Remember what happened when we tried to run? What are run? you talking about? This is Jim Doc Magic. Of the New Hampshire Dark Magics. <laughs> Wizard fight. Wizard, Wizard fight. fight. <clears throat> All right. The dragon gang tackles one of the undead guys, taking him off your burden. Nice. And it is Morgane's turn. Okay, so I am going to aim for the guy who has been demagicked. Yes. Mr. Demagicked. So my first one, I will Ooh. go, yes. So it's 25. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we have the first one Ooh. is 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 points of damage on the first that hit. That hot shit. OK, that guy is on the ropes. He couldn't take another one of those. Well, let's give him another one. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's 9. Yeah, nope, it does not cut it. You no. know what? Oh. I'm going to leverage. The War God's Blessing. I'm going to expend one of my channel divinities. Yes. And I'm going to add plus 10 to her roll. 
Wow. That is a hit. Okay, this one's gotta be good. <laughs> no, that just hit. <laughs> no, damage. For damage. damage. Oh, damage, yeah. yes. I'm gonna get a one. No, no, I'm not gonna get a one. No, you're not gonna get a one. That's hot shit. Nine. Nine All right. Yeah, you put it right through its skull. <laughs> yeah, I do. And Tumble. it goes down. That's awesome. Tumble. Jester's dead. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. You say Scott. Jester's dead? <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw, Jester's dead. All right, what's next? You people were all born for Top Gun, right? Yeah. I mean, you were around. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just checking. <laughs> right? All right. Uh, next up is Omen. Omen drawn? Dream no, the, the other Omen. Okay. <laughs> all right. I feel like everybody took a hit there. I feel like it's before this wizard starts fucking freaking out, I might want to drop a healing word. Mm. The mass healing word is swift. So I can do that and still hit somebody, right? Yeah, you can totally do that. That's what's going to happen. So I kick it out. Uh huh. Um. Oh, wait, the camera was facing the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> Just before you guys leave. <laughs> Just to show my dad I am famous. <laughs> Um, everybody regains 14 hit points. Hold on. Oh, before, noise. Before that happens. Oh, shit. What? Shit. Um, Some counterspell shit? <laughs> I'm just checking. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, I already that, added it up. What, what level spell eight. is that? Uh, I cast it as a third level spell. But it is a spell of what level? It, it, by itself, it's as a, a third level spell. It's a, Great. It, it's a Perfect. third level location. It's yeah. a spell awesome. of uninterruptible healing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. In that case, he automatically counters your spell. Oh. But Jeez. Is it, via what, no, via what magic, magic reference? Do I, know, do I recognize it? He is casting a, as he was, he was encanting a spell, as you recall, and yeah. he cast that spell. <clears throat> and it interrupts your casting. Because your spell is third level or lower. That's right. Okay, so that's going to affect him though too, right? It sucks. It, the, it's it, it, <coughs> yeah. So, so it affects the, everybody. So here's the deal. Yeah. Um, You're going to counter spell his counter spell. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're, we're going to play Magic the Gathering now. Yeah. <laughs> I got my. I have my blue deck. No. Um, so if it, it's swift, that means that I can do it and take a regular action. Yes. Does, does that mean that I can take unlimited swift actions? No. Can I do another swift action? No. Eh. This game's dumb. <laughs> uh, so here, so that, but, but I know exactly what happens. When, when he's done the counter spell, I know from where the counter effect came from, right? The wizard. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna use my double-handed maul like a one would. And I'm gonna try to hit this thing's skull at the wizard. <laughs> nice. I point, I point up at him, <coughs> and I bring it down off of the shoulder and just try to connect with him. All right, Chris the DM wants you to succeed. Yeah, I know he does, that's why I play this way. All right, 25. All right, if you deal enough damage to kill this thing. 10, 13 points. Which you do. <laughs> Damn, oh, nice. Now make a ranged attack against the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Dexterity. Oh, it was fucking rolled off the 20. That, that's an eight. But I mean, he knows what I was trying to do. Absolutely. <laughs> I, he's on notice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have any modifiers to that? Any cheats? Any... If only. You know what? No, I want to save my other head guiding hand of God. I, don't, I want to hit him with one skeleton skull. All right, let's do it. I add 10 to the roll. Now. <laughs> All right. Here's where you fall in love with the game again. Yeah. Damn. So you crack him in the head. Yeah. He loses concentration and falls. <laughs> uh, he's, 
He's uh, 20 feet up, so roll 2d6 damage for me. Six and six. <laughs> nice. Yes. So he falls ignominiously onto the rock. Below. All right. That's someone else's job now. Put me in, coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just whistle. Yeah. You're not going to cast a spell. You're just going to go over and kick the crap out of him. <laughs> no, I got a spell. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, well, you are up, my friend. Uh, all right. Uh, so he cast a fireball earlier, right? He, he sure did. did. Fireball spell was pretty shitty, friend. <laughs> Ooh. Polymorph. <laughs> nice. I would like to turn him into a cockroach. <laughs> That's awesome. And I believe there is a save for this, correct? Yes, 14. Ooh. Oops. Nope. Ah! He rolled an 11. So he's a cockroach? He is a cockroach. Yes. I'm going to have to roll damage for the foot. Jim Winks. I have to roll damage. What is that, D6? Yeah, he's like a supernaturally hard cockroach. Really? What, what, should, what do you want me to roll for damage for my boot? Uh, let's, well, you got a lot of weight behind it, so I'm going to say like 2D6. Wow. Yeah, I'm pissed. Yeah, you're pissed. Seven. Plus, you know, designer boots. I mean. yeah, yeah. Right, right. They're brand new. Yeah. Seven All damage. Right. Yeah, you, just, you sort of grind him under your foot a little bit, and there's a crunching noise. But he's actually still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you have hit points for here. a cockroach back there? Here, here, Morgan, can you shoot a cockroach? Oh yeah, I can shoot a cockroach. <laughs> From how far away? 600 feet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, take uh, it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> there are two of the skeleton guys left? Uh, there's one, one left existing. and one that's sort of teetering without a head and then it falls. All right, so I'll head towards the one that's left. Yep, he's right in your grill. All right. <clears throat> uh, 17 Ooh. plus 7, that's a hit. Yep. Brutal. Uh, 8 points of damage on him. Okay. Second one, that's an 18 plus 7, so that hits. Mm -hmm. Woo. Uh, another 6. Ooh. And on my third, eh, 13, I don't hit on that no. one. No. Right? Okay. okay. Wham, wham. Axe is cut into his lifeless body. He stands his ground. And it is... The wizard's turn. <laughs> <laughs> he he yeah. wiggles his mandibles. He wiggles what? his, yeah. <laughs> That's all he does, his little antenna. He tries to eat some of your Captain Crunch. What was that? Are, are you casting a spell? <laughs> <laughs> the one dread warrior fighting you, uh, you're able to parry his blows pretty easily. He okay, doesn't, great. doesn't get through your armor. Uh, Got confidence now. Yeah, the cockroach is just trying to get away from you now. <laughs> and that was a vandal? It's not going to happen. All right, more game. I feel like I should go for the cockroach. Yes. The cockroach. <laughs> Wait, do you have your hunter's, do you have their hunter thing? Hunter's mark? Your hunter's mark, yeah. Throw it may not be up. worth it. <laughs> no, do because it. Because that gives me extra damage. Why don't you damage? wait until like, Jim yeah. throws it up in the air and you can just skeet it out of the sky? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I feel like I, I don't need the extra up. damage. I feel like if I hit... I feel like the damage I get is going to be enough to kill. Yes, I, I think you're probably right. right. I absolutely throw away. him up in the air. Okay. You have two uh -oh. attacks. Yes. Because right? that one didn't hit at it's all. It's okay. That uh, was just number one. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, the, it was the demo. <laughs> well, Jack cool. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got 20. It's cool. Yeah. 20? Yeah. 20. That's good. That's good. We hit. Okay. hit cockroach AC. Right. <laughs> Never shot a cockroach at 600 feet before. Six points of damage. All right. Little cockroach goes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you did most of the hard work on that one. That's all right. It was still totally <laughs> rad. At that point in time, the, the dread warrior in front of you just kind of shambles like he got order 66. And just sort of falls <laughs> yeah. He just nice. went away. Too yeah. soon. Roger, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. <laughs> Too uh, soon. I don't, I don't like to talk about Order 66. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Uh, it, it, but it, it literally, all the life just sort of evaporates right. from it and it collapses into a corpse. 
Yeah. I feel like I would top off. You topped me off. Oh, no, it didn't or work. No, you did, it didn't work. Yeah, then I, 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 I could use yeah, that. Red please, Wizard robbed great. it. I, before we move another step, I'm going to kick out the same mass heal. Oh, okay. It wasn't quite as good as last time. That's a 12. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. I will take it. It takes me back up to full. All right. What do you guys want to do next? By the way, your, what, your silver dragon is still like chewing on one of the corpses. Yeah, yeah, I say uh, you're, we're good. We're good okay. with the chewing. We've oh, wait, the, now he's helping? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, <laughs> reached, we've reached the end of the chew phase. Um, I, say, I say this is, this is Dragon Spear Castle. I mean, it's a, yes. clearly a legendary place. Indeed. And you are an ancient dragon. Uh, if you'd like to tour guide this for us, that would be great. Splendid. Now, he says, uh, yeah, let's get to this. We only got 15 minutes left. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, we're, we're going. Hunt, you move. ready? Yep. All right. How do you want to approach? Stealthily charge. You want to be dropped in? We can do the um, Hunter's Veil. Hunter's Veil? Yeah. Hunter's Veil. Tell me more like about your idea. Hunter's Veil. The Hunter's Veil is a fantastic spell that makes it so that nobody can see any of us. All right. Sweet. I like every part mm. of right. that. Hunter's Veil. Stealthily Hunter's move Veil. in. Hunter's yes. Veil. <laughs> when you get to the main keep, you can see that there are dragon cultists conferring with a large, a huge green dragon. Uh, they seem to be in a very delicate negotiation. Like and Jenga? They, like, yeah. yeah. All right. And this dragon uh, seems to be making all kinds of demands for her loyalty and her time. And while that's going on, what would you like to do? <laughs> are, th are the eggs visible? Do you want to go look for them? Well, I mean, can, we, can, we, can we see them? Are they, are they on like um, a nice, like, like you know, you know. Everybody make you, a perception check. Well, you, get a, you, you, get a, you get a nice you're, collectible, you show it off. You can't, you, know? be, you can't be seen, so you're cruising around. And we have to stay within 30 feet of each other. Just That's throwing right. that out there. No, I don't see anything. 11. I 18. Uh, All right. Which one's this perception? Um, perception, yes. yeah, you got a great one. Yeah, I plus do. five. 19. All right. 19. Roman and, and you rolled a? 11. All right. Well, you two notice that there's a room behind the dragon, a collapsed throne room, and the eggs are basically tucked away behind an old throne, uh, four bronze dragon eggs. Now, as you're making your way toward it, the dragon just sort of stops the conversation and says, I smell something. No, I cannot be tracked Sorry, except guys. by magical means. I know. <laughs> cannot be tracked except by magical means. Oh. Morgan Webb, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Wow. Yeah. Morgan Webb, rules lawyer. <laughs> just saying, just throwing that out there. We continue. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That's awesome. I've been schooled. <laughs> All right. Uh, what would you like to do when you get to the eggs? Portable hole. Yeah, yeah. I, I have my portable hole. I open that thing Wait, up. Wait, how big are these eggs, by the way? They're about four feet tall. I mean, because could we carry them? Do we not, trust the portable hole not, is my question? No, not easily. We, we, we got do. it. He gave, Vandal gave it Vandal to us. Vandal gave it to us. He hasn't been entirely that helpful. But when it comes to the dragon eggs, there is no, there's nothing he wouldn't do to protect them. Or that's steal, the them, one, for her, steal that, them for him. Absolutely, but that's the, only, that's the only thing we know about him is that he won't let the eggs come to harm, right? Everything else and is I have the eggs. hole. Yeah, and we have the hole. All right, put him in the hole. <clears throat> I lay right. it out. You lay it out. You put them in the hole, they all disappear inside, you fold, fold up it the back up hole. and tuck it into my pocket. All right. Front pocket. That's that. <laughs> front pocket. Front pocket. Front pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Trillian, the green dragon, you hear her say, I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> the eggs are gone. Okay, well, that was your fault, mage. They have my eggs. I mean, technically, they're not her eggs. Well, <laughs> she's adopted them. They're hers now. How can you tell me how far we this how how far this room was? How far did we walk? Sixty feet. About where in the room is she? She's about that far away. In this sort of collapsed, beaten down throne hall. Talk to me, Jim. Maybe she wants a new boyfriend, dragon. And she says, <laughs> a "Little matchmaker." A little matchmaker. <laughs> He could look like a cute boy dragon. Yeah. He's I like, do not like thieves. That's Who a common, does? That's a common problem. <laughs> <clears throat> but she doesn't know where we are. Correct. No. Right. 
That's what's important. That's what she says. We all have to stay says, together. <laughs> press the digitation. I know who you are. I will find you. She's I will lying. find you and I will eat you. Yeah. You're in league with Lake Town. <laughs> you are in league with Lake Town. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the way, so here, we need to start scooting toward the main exit. We just got to do that like here. As side we, step. As we are scooting toward the main exit, I use my thaumaturgy uh, to slam the doors to that rear room. Okay. And you bolt out the rear? Yep. All right. You run right into the face of the other dragon. Oh. That's Bin where we'll win stop. <laughs> oh, until the, We're in, done. Until the podcast, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Perkins, ladies and gentlemen. Morgan Webb. Morgan. Can hit a cup yes. from 600 that's feet. That's right, that's right. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you very much.